Riley's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. It's my favorite part. Boom, 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 boom. Fucking nice fat bass. Nice. Bass. I love the rhythm section, but not on sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Uh, <laughs> we got fucking canceled, people. That sucks. Oh. Yeah. Got the nice hot boot. Oh, my goodness. You were there, Michael, at the beginning. Yeah. Before I Number got the one. part. Before I got the part, right? Yeah. Before I got the fucking part, I was in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. He was uh, my feature, and he, I was telling him, like, I got what? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> you're just doing a fucking <laughs> dice? <laughs> <laughs> just throw some fucking dice. Gotta get your sleeves up. I, uh, <laughs> you, I, uh, I told him I was getting, I might get this part, and I had to learn. I had to learn how to play drums. Yeah. And you took me to the drum. Like what? Drum world. Well, drum circle. Yeah, something. It was like a little studio yeah, where studio. they set up two drums for us. We just kind of mirrored each other. And we for, just fucking for played. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then all uh, for nothing. Yeah. No, not well. I'm just kidding. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Two seasons, you cunt. He can play That's drums great. now. I'm kidding. Yeah. You know, people, this is what this is what people don't understand. The, it's it's three years in the making. Okay, so that was three years ago. Correct? It might have been long. It might have been four years that that was happening. Don't make me feel like shit with three. <laughs> no, so you put that much work into it. You were dedicated to it. Uh, You're now king right. of the drum circle. Three and a half. <laughs> three and change. Uh, so three and a half years ago, I'm yeah. in Atlanta trying to get learn the drums to get this part. Right. I get the part. We film the pilot. We wait seven months for it to get, six months to get picked up and film. Then we film it for three months. We wait another... Four months for it to air. I mean, it's a fucking long. Is that you? You Sorry. is that my producer? Way to the top if you want to <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> it was it was three and a half years. It was fucking long. And yeah. then we we got the second season. We filmed it. It came out. And here's the reality. I'll tell you right now. People don't watch TV the way they watch TV even a year ago. Right. Mm. They just don't. I don't. I don't fucking stay home. And watch a show. Netflix, man. Netflix or DVR. So or I watch it when it comes on Netflix in three months. But here, and, and here, uh, first week, ready? Here's here's our, this is the luck of the show. First week, mass shooting, Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Right when I show yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking it's news cool. is ballistic. Hey, Second week. Sounds like a terrible Tuesday for you, by the way. Second week. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Terrorist with a bus. Mows down fucking <laughs> three hundred people. Sure the God. second episode. Second episode. Jesus Christ, <laughs> man! Everyone's against you specifically. <laughs> Fourth week, Trump speaks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just in general. I'll give Another you a, train wreck. I'll give you a hit on the fifth week. Who spoke? Hillary. Hillary. Oh, Boom. Jesus. And if then there was the third uh, season. There'd be World War Three. <laughs> on the uh, thank God it got canceled. On the, actually, on the fifth week, the Olympics start. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Olympics in Brazil. I think that it went two seasons is pretty impressive then with all that going against it. You still yeah. got two well, seasons. Well, here's how I know that it did affect it because in the latter episodes, the ratings went up. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. And if those rating spikes that we had at the end and we had the same viewers as we did it last year, it would have been fucking fine. But it just, you know. But everybody at FX is fucking sweet. They're all nice. I actually got a call which never happens, from one of the head guys at FX going, look, I want to just make this human. Love the show. Love you guys. It's, it, business sucks when we have to do this. But, and that, I mean, that was great. That was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. He didn't yeah. have to call you. No. So. And that, but it's hard, too, because then you get a, the cast. We have to talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's sad as shit. <laughs> How do you know? Like, who, do you who tells you first? Do you find out like online or does like, Serpico text you? How do you find Serpico, out? The Serpico. producer of the show calls everybody. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's one of his jobs. And then, of course, you. I got a call actually from Leary, called me and left me a message. I didn't. I didn't answer the phone because um, I guess you know it was just home. I didn't recognize it. So um, yeah, he called me, left me a fucking beautiful message. I mean, just an insanely nice, holy shit message that you'd save from Dennis Leary. Because you know I mean? <laughs> usually it's like, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? <laughs> See you later, dickhead. <laughs> you know, and it was this really heartfelt, beautiful message. You know, and it's it's fucking over. It's fi- and then when did you, you find out last Friday. Okay. In Connecticut, at a fucking one of those one nighter gigs that you 
you know, you st I went three and a half years ago I was doing before the show. <laughs> <laughs> Full circle. That is fucking <laughs> wow. I'm on one of those beds that don't bounce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a plastic cup in, like in, in plastic in the, in the bathroom. The carpet is tiles. <laughs> in the oh, hotel <laughs> fucking nuts. Well, the good news There's is one bar of soap. You probably get a chance now to pitch a show. You probably, you probably now you get a chance. The guy we can't just show. And I brought a script with me if you want to talk about it. Well, it's funny you say that. <laughs> I've been working very hard for the last couple months, and it's your chance to get you on. Well, I'll, 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 in a couple weeks, yeah, we'll see what happens. Good things are happening. Let's just say, let's yeah. just say, on to the next. Really good yeah. things are happening. Woo! Congrats. Uh, well, no, we don't. I, for, Take it down a notch. <laughs> <laughs> no, two seasons. Congrats on two okay, seasons. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. No, I really. That's the fans are crap. fucking amazing. But I really. It's so cliche. At the you like, but the cast was awesome. Mm -hmm. I loved every one of them. Uh, Leary's the best motherfucker ever. I mean, he's just the best. Serpico, Saletti, uh, Jack Leary. I fucking love them, man. We we spent three years together, and you, it's funny because. If you look at, I told the guy at FX, I was like, man, I've been with you guys for over, almost six years. I was on Louis. Mm -hmm. I started with you guys on Louis. Then I actually shot a pilot called Bronx Warrants where I was one of the stars mm -hmm. wow. that didn't get picked up. And then we went to Do Sex Drugs. you have drugs. that pilot? I don't. It's mm -hmm. somewhere. But it's like that's almost six years on, F on a net one fucking network with yeah. the, the same people, man. And everybody at FX is the shit, man. They really are. They just great genuine people the business is the business mm -hmm. but they're really great mm -hmm. people and i'm sad to see the show go but onward and up when as uh, the great conan smith once said and uh you know it's i'm just sitting but i told my wife i go i got a seven thousand dollar fucking electric drum kit <laughs> i mean do i downsize <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna keep playing <laughs> That's the question. No, Max. Of can course, play. why wouldn't you? I'm trying to get rid Max of my kid's play. $400 drum kit. My wife wants it out of the house. Uh, all right, let's go around the room. Enough of my horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce everybody. Okay, to my right, directly to my right, we have Rob Sprans. I'm so happy to see all right, you. I know. Listen, so because, I, because I love you mm -hmm. and because Rob is the founder of the network, mm -hmm. I will let you get away with that. But we go clockwise in the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rob's never here. Come on. Come on. I bet. Let's do Rob. <laughs> Rob. Yes. Love you. Love Thanks too. for coming in and helping My us. My pleasure. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, the only reason why I'm here is because the equipment didn't work. Let's be real. <laughs> it's just, just happened to work out that way. Don't <laughs> tell him. I mean, look, we, I mean, we, we'd invite you, but you're fucking, you're uh, Captain Fucking Suburbs. Yeah. You're home in bed and fucking in your movie room. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So. Next to Rob, we have the very funny Tom Cassidy back on. Hey. Oh, oh, yes. Good Tommy. to be here. Let's, Thank you. Let's bring that down a little bit. I mean. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very funny. I mean, my uh, so is funny. very funny. <laughs> Go list, hilarious. My, uh, my <laughs> web series just got canceled. In the morning, so, uh, How many seasons? <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, really? Did you have something get canceled? No, web shit. series can't get canceled. Uh, shit. <laughs> Who called? I was actually on a bond. <laughs> Who called you? <laughs> the internet. YouTube? The internet Steve called. Jobs called me from hell. <laughs> you were CC'd. Mm -hmm. And the me, next me and my, hang so, on now, okay, you fuck. Right. Oh, I'm going to make out with you tonight. Oh, that's how you make out. Oh, that's how you vomit in your own mouth. Oh, that's, that's how you give it's head. the Jersey way. Uh, <laughs> um, Rob, me and Rob just went over to the uh, Misery Loves Company live podcast. Yeah, where well, you talk Kevin Brennan 19 assholes on stage for about well, 20 it's, minutes. It's all done in front of I wish I saw that. This fucking guy. It's like... <laughs> Why, I, why didn't I? He's like, why didn't I get invited to your picnic? I go, first of all, I'm not Puerto Rican. I don't have picnics. <laughs> <laughs> I have barbecues. <laughs> I go, <laughs> a, a second, I don't want to fucking see you drive your bike from Jersey City to Westchester. <laughs> show up with my fucking, scare my kid with your blotchy face. <laughs> I go, third, it's either you or everybody else. Because uh -huh. if I tell people you're coming, nobody's coming. <laughs> so... You don't get the invite. You don't go to Lenny's wedding. You don't go to the barbecue. Just do your show. Shut your face. <laughs> he didn't get invited to Lenny's wedding? Of course not. Oh, my God. He calls, fucks with Lenny's fiance every show. <laughs> calls her a fucking this and that, and you're an idiot for marrying her. Yeah, it is hilarious. True. How do you bring him to the wedding? Anyways, he, yeah, he was, I, I just was like, fuck you. All this <laughs> is us. We literally, the logo, the song, the show, the fuck, you two, every, we did it all. We mm -hmm. gave you, we're fucking Dr. Frankenstein. 
We, we so fuck off. Go fuck yourself. So it was a good show. It was a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what freaked me out. It's all hot chicks. I literally, I, uh, to the point where, I'm, right, Rob? Yeah, I started asking right. people, girls going down. Yeah. I'm like, excuse me, are you here for the Misery Loves Company? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, no, Misery Loves Company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we're here. I, I looked at the girl in the front row. I go, you're fucking, you have to be on the spectrum. There's something, <laughs> you're on, you can't be a fan. You're too gorgeous. Why would you fucking like this show? It should be me. It should just be me over and over again. Guys like me. Hot. And you. Hot chicks Thank love you. assholes. Amen. Like, wait a minute, that turned me on. Wait a minute, like real, like licking asshole, like <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> right, who, who Great introduction. We, we have Joe Bartnick, first time to the show. <laughs> first time to the show. Thank you. Best hair and in comedy. Yeah. We were just, Jesus Christ, oh, yeah, yeah, really? had a hair. Comedy and in fucking every uh, Indian <laughs> tribe, <across> the, <laughs> <laughs> the nation. He looks like the cover of a Harlequin <laughs> romance novel. <laughs> you, he looks like the, the the white guy who played the Indians in all the movies <laughs> back the, in the day. I can use the work. So we can pay him. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? I'm mostly Italian and mutt. Yeah, you have no Indian in you at all. No, but my daughter does. Really? Yeah, because my wife is like pilgrim in Swedish, but somewhere an in Indian got a little sausage in there. <laughs> <laughs> but they try to deny it. I'm like, I could get a piece of Mohegan Sun. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I uh, my wife has a little Indian in her too. I love it. Yeah. yeah she has your hair actually. <laughs> <laughs> I to Turn around for a minute. <laughs> Does that yeah. turn you on, Bobby? I mean, yeah, I love my wife's <laughs> hair, and I love his hair. So. You can, you, I'll it's let nice. you touch it if you want. We were, um, we were just in uh, Philly together, and you were there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, it was uh, awesome. Great club, great time. Great cigars. Oh, uh, we smoked. Smoked a ton of cigars. It was awesome until the mustached opener started uh, talking some homo stuff at the... At Italian cigar bar. What was that? Ryan Shana? <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> I'm naming names. Well, like, well, first of all, here's the thing. I, the kid was a nice guy. Oh, no, no. It was but, hilarious, but, though. But then the conversation uh, stopped. Like anti-homo or like I want to bang no, you? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this up. We're at Twin Cigar Bar in fucking South Philly. Great cigar Everybody cigar. there just got out of federal prison. <laughs> okay? Hey, oh, make it, make it, make it, make it, right? I mean, you don't fuck. I don't want to fucking fuck with anybody in there because you don't. This guy could fucking, you know, you know, bag groceries or he could be murdering people. You don't know who's who. <laughs> and the guy who runs it, beautiful guy. What a nice and guy. And he's the best. He is unfucking believable. What is a that great the guy in the green room uh, on Saturday night? The real Italian dude? Yes. Okay. What a fucking great guy. No, that what he was the guy. That's the guy. The two guys in the suits? Mm hmm. No, they're from uh, the cigar place, uh, Holtz. Holt okay. Cigar, which they, they're the best. They Holt's in Philly, one of the best cigar lounges, one of the best fucking cigar uh, stores with the Ashton Bar upstairs. Did you go there with me? Yeah, I remember it was incredible. And they were, you never hear music that incredible at a cigar bar. Remember they were uh, cranking cream? Oh, uh, dude. And the girls, it was so... Oh, my girls were like tens. They have a medical fucking air... <laughs> was Kevin Brennan system. there? <laughs> Call that. <laughs> Somebody's listening. <laughs> Anyways, we did this whole show. We went to this thing, and this kid, I was trying to tell him, I go, dude, you got to fucking let me know that you're human. You got to let me know you like me because you're hanging out, and I feel like you want to punch us in the fucking face. <laughs> He's probably just nervous. Huh? He's probably nervous. I don't know what that is, but you got to, look, if I, if I bring you with me, if you, hey, you want to go somewhere, I, I like you. Yeah, sure. I don't invite you if I don't like you. You know, and it's like he, but he was like real intense. Like it was like, I was like, do you want to fight? But I don't. And he was like, no, I'm just like this. I, you know, I was like, all right, well, fucking, I'm like this. Cause I'm fucking nervous. By the time I got there on Saturday, though, you guys seemed all comfortable with yeah, each other. Yeah, cause we had so. that talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> He was totally cool, though. He was totally cool. Great guy. It was, it was just so funny because we're sitting around, everyone smoking cigars. They're bringing out scotch and sambuca. And he just said something like, yeah, you know, well, the gays are okay. And <laughs> <laughs> eight guys on a Rico case are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> we were like, maybe time to go. I was so fucking scared. <laughs> it's just not the room. It's, you gotta, you gotta know your room. Philly. You gotta know your crowd. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking, we're in South Careful. Philly at a mafia cigar bar. Uh -huh. we're, we're the guy's like, dude, we'll go next door. At the social club, they bring food over. We're like, okay. You know, <laughs> the guy's like, no, listen, Alan's a good show. <laughs> we're already in the basement. The floor's not even done yet. It'd be yeah. very easy just yeah. to get rid I of it. I saw a foot <laughs> coming out of the cement. <laughs> <laughs> and a fucking, it, had, it had a rainbow flag on it. <laughs> 
It was crazy, but great weekend. Oh, awesome weekend. It was so fun. Right, good hanging out with you, man. And you were there when I, first, I smoked my first cigar with Paul Verzi, who had, uh, just to let everybody, we were promoting him coming on tonight. He had something come up. He had to take care of it. He apologizes, and he will be back on soon. I love Verzi to death, so he's, he's the best. So he is the best. Sorry that he's not on for all you guys. It was like, oh, they were really excited that he was coming on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyways, uh, and then we got, of course. <laughs> my favorite. My favorite. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> It's my He's favorite. Christy Cello, hello. I want to have you. <laughs> <laughs> Can we sexually. lock her in the studio? You want to just have her in your home? Yeah, I just want to have her. I, I told my wife about you. <laughs> I did. I told my wife about well, you. Well, what did you say? I, I talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just said this fucking girl is the best. I don't know what it is. I want one. I told her I wanted one. <laughs> I, go, next, I go, next barbecue, Max's birthday, you're coming just to talk to my kid. Oh, my God. I would love to. <laughs> he would love it. I would love that. I'm so happy to be back. Yes. Oh, it's good to have you back. How you been? So good. I'm following you on Instagram. You got some good Instagrams. Very Thank funny. You. Thank you. I really like to do it. I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> why? You, what is this head thing? What is? I'm why? Just, I'm just happy to be. Why? why? <laughs> I really am. Lauren's here. Everybody needs like one it. of these when they're in a bad mood. Why? You really do. You're Renee Zellwiggering me. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing with your face? <laughs> uh, it's good to have you back, sweetie. You. Hi, and everything's good. Everything's so good. Everything's <laughs> never been better. Never. Never been better ever. I can't complain. Been busy. I like this time of year. It's the best. Uh, you, wait, you working? Kind of, yeah. I'm starting. I have my first headlining gig. Where? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> at, um, <laughs> <laughs> at Laugh It Up in Poughkeepsie. It, let me tell you something. Which about, you're, I'm gonna I tell you something. you're on the schedule. Of I, already, I did it this weekend, okay? I did uh, Saturday night. Now, the last time I did Poughkeepsie, it was a fucking nightmare. It was at the shit hotel. They they were like, oh, you, but you get a free buffet. I go to the, it's an Indian food buffet. Oh. Never a good fun. Oh, no. At a fucking shit hotel. Ugh. It was terrible. And then the show sucked. No bouncer. Letting people in shit faced. It was a. I was dealing with fucking assholes all night. Oh no. It was a fucking nightmare. I I I, I just never went back. They would. Hey, nope. Fuck you. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I heard about this club. How it's was it? so good. Oh yay. It's so good. First of all, it's so you jump on the train at Grand Central yeah. and you get off the train at the fucking club. Like literally across the street from the cellar, there's the club. So you just fucking train, bang, the club's right there. I'm so excited. I've never done. It'll be my first time doing 45 minutes. It's these guys are great. The fucking the, the place is great. The the okay. stage is great. The room's great. Good. Everybody, everybody there is a sweetheart. They treat you fantastic. It's easy as fucking fudge to get there. Awesome. And two shows, like butter, That's like butter. Me, Stavros, Jay McBride, we had a guest spot come in, and everybody killed it. The crowd was amazing. That, that I, makes I mean, if me you're, so happy. you're gonna have a blast. Thank if you are up in Poughkeepsie, go see you. October fourteenth. I'm a headliner. Can you handle it? I'm like, not, nah, but <laughs> you really yeah. am. On October 14th. Yeah, you're going to do great. I mean, there's going to be mm. nine guys in front of you, but listen. <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Or behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> it's that good of a night. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Joe List and Lewis waiting. <laughs> <laughs> and, and if she does it, they're just going to hand them envelopes and get back on the train. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I really had a blast, man. I get, and these guys really, they're just solid dudes, man. Really solid guys. And they're doing it because they love comedy. They're not doing it to fucking f pull, you can tell yeah. when somebody's like, look, man, we just do this because we want to do a good show. It's the best. They love it. So you're going to have a blast. Thank you. If you're a comic, get booked up there. Yeah. Seriously, if you got 45 minutes, get the fuck up there. Even if you can feature, it's the, right up fucking the train. Yeah. Right there. Um, all right, so what else we got? Uh, next to Christy, we have the big Mike Albany. Oh. Hey, hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, now, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I thought by now you might have shaved the beard. Uh, you know, I tried. I went, I went short, and it grew back quite what happened? a bit. I don't know. I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it, but I think I'm scared to get rid of it. Because people know. It's like me, if I yeah. grew my hair back, which yeah. I did two weeks ago <laughs> or three weeks ago, I grew my hair back, and I grew a beard. What does it even look Where, like? Yeah, where's your hairline now? I didn't even recognize it. Is it the same spot it was? Like, is you still have a full head of hair? I have the same thing as Louie. Okay. Except it's all gray. 
No. So it's oh, it's, it's gray. White. I look like a white like a silver fucking fox. ape. I look like an ape, like a white gorilla, <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like an old gorilla. I do, like oh, a silverback. Like silver, like a silver fox. Yeah, silver. That's a nice look. Um, you get that grand, oh, you grand, grand dad just, look. Listen to me, honey. Don't play games with me. I want to bite your little fingers. <laughs> <laughs> My little chicken nugget finger. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I, uh, 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 I mean, I would get sick of it after two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I can't have you. <laughs> I, uh, Those I, fingers look like they're on the new BK menu. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeto dust on them. They're like diner mozzarella sticks. <laughs> <laughs> they <are>. um, <laughs> well, I grew it back, and I just, there was a stage of, wow, this kind of looks good. And pe mm. my wife was like, "Why well, I like it. And people were like, I like it. And I was like, me too. And then I outgrew that stage, and I just looked like my father. <laughs> like, I just looked like an old man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there was that stage where I just looked like shit. And my wife went, this is one of my, this is, I'm on the beach in Marblehead, Massachusetts. Beard, hair. I'm with my kid. This other guy shows up with a kid. Gr beard, gray, mm. gray hair. He looks like a shit. <laughs> comes up next to me with his kid, and we're playing, and he's talking to my wife. He's like, yeah, fucking blah, 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 blah. She's talking, and then she walks directly over to me. She goes, when we get back, shave that shit off your face. <laughs> <laughs> shave your head. It's all in time, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was his grandkid. She was looking at this fucking, <laughs> this ugly fuck. And she's like, that's what you're becoming. It ain't happening. Get well, I'm, I'm settled on the fact that I know I look better with a beard. Because like, without a beard, I have a really... Like pudgy, round, terrible chin. I would love it if I you looked like Joe look List. Right. You had no chin. Just went right <laughs> I, 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 have, I look like a chubby Joe List. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't have a uh, I don't have a great bottom half of my face. You got a great upper half. I do, and I fix. <laughs> I round it out with this beard. You really I'm, do. I think I'm, I'm with. I think I'm for life on this thing now. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I'll shave it off in a second for a part, though. You offer me a roll, it's gone. What would be the part? <laughs> Worm Man? <laughs> <laughs> they tried to do... I, had a, I was in a chicken uh, restaurant commercial, and they asked me to shave it, but then I booked a TV show the next day, and I was like, ah, I'm keeping it. Yeah. Main it was the only... Oh, it was the, the, only the only two things I... Well, it got canceled after two years, too, so don't worry about it. <laughs> well, well, that story... Well. This is why the story is a dick for saying that, because he didn't need to tell us all that shit. <laughs> yeah. No, I did. He just said, ah, my beard. He was like, no, I was going to shave it time because I was on this commercial, but then I booked a TV show. I said, go fuck yourself. <laughs> National ad money. <laughs> yeah, the, the $600 to be in the background of a chicken commercial. That was It was good. It was right, well, Give us that. We <laughs> need the background. That, well, I you made it sound like you were the I star. Would. Of the, fuck, you were the new KFC fucking <laughs> colonel guy. No, I was eating a piece of chicken and screaming because it's so spicy. Yeah, big time. And you couldn't that do that with, they couldn't do that with the fucking beard? They made you shave the beard off? No, they said that? the beard tested wrong. It tested it bad. It tested wrong. It tested <laughs> bad, so they needed to that, it tasted I mean, bad, yeah. yeah it did, did. No, it Can didn't. you fucking believe that? It was That ridiculous. there's a room full of fucking twats yeah. going, we don't like his yeah. shitty beard. Oh, absolutely. Well, I should say, like. we it don't was like his fucking Confederate flag beard. <laughs> that, sh that commercial was already on the air for a year. No big deal. It's pretty, pretty big, impressive <laughs> stuff. Yeah, but uh, and then they told me. Nobody knows you. Listen. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I can, you don't introduce me after Christy, and then all of a sudden I'm going to get. <laughs> anyone who's going to give a shit? They're waiting on old. I said bed. Can I just say something? Chicken, finger fi Buddy, chicken fingers you, over here. You're Chris Scopo's roommate. You're nobody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't care. I don't care if you walked in here with fucking De Niro. You're still a fucking nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think Chris is my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm so fucked up. That, that makes sense. <laughs> Why does that make sense? That's the only dig uh, I had. All right, here it is. I mean, that's just crazy to me that, there's, that, that that's how they judge it. But now with, like, Amazon says the same thing. If you get a show, they send it out for people to, I believe they mm -hmm. send it out, people vote on it. And if it gets voted in, you have a show. They don't even send it out. They just, it's public. They air it. It's public. They air and you can vote. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> I mean, sorry. I didn't know the details. <laughs> I, I send it out. I mean, send it out into the Amazon into world. the world, yeah. They send you a disc. A disc. <laughs> a nice DVD. A fucking disc. <laughs> hey, check out my new disc. I'm doing my radio voice. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Disc. <laughs> hey, you got to send out a disc from Blockbuster. Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't believe my show's canceled. 
<laughs> this is what bothers me about the show. I don't mind the show getting canceled. I get it. But what bothers me is that some of you fucks, not in this room, <laughs> but when I say some of you fucks, I mean comics, sure. are fucking going, yes. No. Some in this room, no. yeah. I oh. definitely think. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dude. Fuck this, people. No, I'm talking it's you, dude. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say no doubt? <laughs> oh, like, how much would you sell those drums for? <laughs> oh God, I don't know what to do with these. Did you like see it coming? Like, did you have a, did you have a feeling it was going to happen? Or <laughs> <laughs> now the voice is still annoying. talking about the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would be consoling you, Bobby. <laughs> you know, I just I want to hear it until I come, and then I just never <laughs> want to hear it. It's the last thing I want to hear. Is go, <laughs> you want to get me a towel? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I want I a sandwich. <laughs> she has a good pre-cum voice. <laughs> she has a great pre-cum. Can you can you say can you just no, say I don't just like this? Game. Stop. Just say what do you want to do now? That's all. I don't like this game. <laughs> Why are you covering your eyes? Cover, <laughs> cover your ears so you don't hear it. <laughs> Ask him to cuddle. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my face hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand it. Oh, that's funny. I, um, yeah, it's fucking weird, man. What are you going to do? It's going to end sometime, you know what I mean? But we'll see what happens. I'm actually very excited about the future. Uh, you know, we got some things going. Actually, me and Joe List started writing again today. <gasps> no way. Yeah, we had a show. I saw the show. Instagram. We, what's that? I saw oh, the yeah. provocative Instagram. Oh, this fucking picture. cocksucker. He's so funny. Oh, I he love comes it. to my house, and, you know, he's just blah, 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 blah. He's just going. He's just he's <laughs> fucking smashing jokes the whole ride up. So funny. And then we get to my house, and he's, like, you know, he's just so fucking neurotic. You know, we're going to do a podcast. Let's do a podcast. We're going to write. We'll write. Maybe smoke some cigars. Or smoke some... And I'm like, pick one, fuckface. <laughs> I'm not you. I don't do that. I'm fucking bing, bang, boom. <laughs> and uh, I go, look, I'm going to get some cigars because you haven't been to my house, Joe. Yes, you're look I know. I want to come to the cigar <laughs> lounge. Buddy, I got 400 cigars. No way. All primo. You bring 400 cigars on the road with you. <laughs> 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 Plus, you have them stored in every city. You, it's like you're hiding money. <laughs> like if, you're, if, you're on the, if you're ever on the run, there's cigars all around the country. <laughs> I do have a lot, man, but I got some of my big birthdays out. I got my, uh, uh, what's it called, the uh, Long Live the Kings, oh. 60 by 6, Jeez. 60 ring gauge by 6, and we sat in my little cigar shed, and we wrote, <laughs> and it was, fuck, we actually, we were reading what we had, and we're like, dude, why did we stop this? Like, this is fucking, <laughs> this is really good. You know, G Joe's laughing his ass off. It was a fucking great time. That's so. exciting. That's a great partnership. What, Joe List? Yeah. Why do you like Joe List? Do you I, think lo I think I'm a huge Joe List Do you fan. have a boyfriend? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm done with you. I'm fucking done with you. What is the new head thing that you're doing? I don't know. It's something I just am trying tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Thanks a lot. I don't <laughs> Are you guys fucking? Yeah. Oh. I love her. I wish. I'm so happy she's here. We're going to hang out. We're going to get coffee. Yes. Yeah. When? Lunch. We've been Food. texting. Yeah. What? Yes. We're secret lovers. Oh, my yeah. God. You when, know, she has a massive vagina, right? I can't Huge. wait to see. Sorry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you all right? Yeah, I'm just like, my mind is blown away. I'm just trying to picture a massive vagina. Yeah. I was like, I was like is it wide? Is it deep? I think is it the bush? Across like the what? board. I'm just Whatever you want it to be. I'm upset right. that I can't react the way that she did when he said that. I wish I could just chuckle and laugh and no one think I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Get kicked out of the goddamn building for that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Mike. Uh, uh, just know I was thinking that on oh, the inside. Okay, cool. I want to see you shave it. How much will it cost to shave your beard? Oh, no, I'm broke. Not it. much. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really broke? Uh, kind of. Oh, not, not, I'm not great. I got, uh, You're good. You can pay rent. I'm you spend rent, all that commercial yeah. money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that fucking TV spot money that you yeah, turn yeah. the commercial down for. <laughs> It's gone. My, my free chicken card has run out. So, <laughs> Did you get a card for free chicken? Yeah, and I never used it because it was just after, after eating chicken all day on that, on that it was like I can never touch <laughs> that chicken would, again. When people say shit like that, 
It doesn't make sense to me. I know. I'll Aww. eat fucking chicken forever. No. You give me a free chicken card, I will eat it. I worked at a restaurant with like, dude, I'm sick of the food. Never happened. Yeah. I took their food and invented new food. It was fast food chicken, you might. Yeah, I'm like the Mexican chefs. So we're going to have to ask for our chicken card back. Uh, exactly. <laughs> give me a fucking free card. chicken card. I love that gig. <laughs> if I won an Oscar and they were like, we want you to do a chicken head, you get a free, I'd go, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Against my, my agent would be like, don't do this. Fuck you, I'm getting a free chicken card. I would do it for a free chicken card. Oh, kind of, is it fried chicken or regular chicken? Fried chicken. I'm no, in. Man. Fuck oh, off. Yeah. Yeah. No. Was it, yeah. was it KFC? No, it was Church's. Oh, Church's oh. is terrible. It's garbage. Is it? Yeah, yeah. it is terrible. Oh, yeah. Can you like say that? Eight out. I don't care. I'd still eat it for free. <laughs> are they going to stop paying me a, the thirty dollar a, a year contract. residual? I, I hope yeah. he gets a call tomorrow. Look, we're going to do the national ad <laughs> with the beard. The beard plays. <laughs> 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 then I calls me. Can you erase that? No. And I'm growing a beard. I'm going to dye it. You're going to have to lie about it on Marin's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, <laughs> find out it's fake. <laughs> hey, you know, um, what the fuck? Anyways, um, I, what was I going to say? You're Marin? No, oh, no. We talked about that last week. No, we didn't bring it up at all. Oh, shit. <laughs> you mentioned it briefly, but we didn't um, talk about it. I want to thank all the people who listened to the Mark Marin episode that I did last week because uh, the response is the, probably the best response from anything I've ever done on podcasting. It's, you know, it was hard for me. Uh, not hard for me, but... It was very easy for me to talk to Marin because I like Marin. And, I, you know, when I went to do the show, it's a weird thing because people are like, you know, I hope it goes well. And hope, I don't, I'm like, I don't understand what that means. I'm just going to talk to my friend on a fucking podcast. If it, who, you're, I know you're going to judge it, but go fuck yourself. I don't, what am, I, I don't what, how would this become a competition or whatever? And it's like, whatever. I'm just going on. I'm going to talk and I'm going to let it go where the fuck it goes. And it went some fucking, you know, places where I haven't talked about, you know, about my abuse and, and getting, you know, all the shit when I was a kid and, and all that stuff and whatever. But the best part was, and I, and I don't give a fuck if this is corny because I know I'm supposed to be uh, the, you know, the fucking edgy co comic and, you know, fucking, you know, no Paul, whatever the fuck we're supposed to be doing. I'm a fucking softy. Go fuck yourself. Wow. And the, the greatest part about it was that people who guys who had the same scenario as children responded to it and were like, dude, that really helped me. And that made me feel good mm -hmm. that there was people that had abused, abusive, uh, you know, abuse in their life and, you know, got beat up by their father and, and or their stepfather or a parent or somebody. And as a child, because I look at my kid now mm -hmm. and I'm, he's three and I couldn't imagine hitting him. I couldn't imagine fucking her, like physically fucking scaring the fuck out of him mm -hmm. till he cries and then letting him sit alone in a room. Yeah. I don't get it. So I'm glad it really fucking, it was amazing. I want to thank everybody who tweeted me and, 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 and everything. Just really uh, awesome response to that. And Marin for having me on and having that conversation with me. So, um... That got me choked up just listening to you talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's uh, as I get older in life, you know, when I was in my 20s, I didn't give a fuck about it. I was very self-centered. I didn't give a fuck about anybody. In my 30s, you know, I was very egotistical in the career, 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 career. And now in my 40s, it's about engaging the few people that I do have in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and making sure that I am loving them and not hurting them. You know what I'm saying? That's so nice. I plan on doing that in my 40s, too. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> it's true, though. Like, I mean, it's just where I'm at. Yeah. You have kids, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, you can't imagine. I mean, I can't imagine hurting it. Even, even like, you know, you know, when you have kids, you hate mostly everybody else's kids. But I would never hurt them. Right. <laughs> Hurting a kid just makes me sick to my makes me uh, sick it. to my like any hitting a hitting a woman hitting a dog hitting a kid. It's just I like, never said anything about women. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, now let's get this straight. Mm -hmm. My wife does not have dinner. Mm -hmm. Don't beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> and my wife is a tough broad. I really did fuck up. She really will it's fight me. Bad. I told you she tried to fight me once. We were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, women are always want to fight you because they they know they can't lose. If no, you, I mean in reality they can't lose. Well, 
my wife could probably because I've you know she had four uh, three older brothers that used to beat the shit out of her. She she was the only girl, <laughs> and they're big motherfuckers. Yeah, and I've tried to like wrestle her where you you know you <laughs> twist her arms and you say I'm the best. She goes no. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Put her arm behind her back and push it up to like it's gonna break. Say I'm the king. You're not. <laughs> I, I'm, I just give up. I'm like, this isn't fun because I have the next step is I have to break your fucking arm. That's <laughs> 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 not fun. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was. Uh, you know, I was a little nervous because I didn't listen to. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go listen to me. Ooh, you know. And I know that where it went, but I kind of forgot. But I know mm. it went places, mm. and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. But it was uh, it was a great response. I'm glad people. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it. It was a great conversation with Mark too. He's amazing, and, and it was, uh, you know, a good time. So, um, um, what else? Uh, what's in the chat room, dude? Uh, sure. Um, Mike Levique says it's cute. Uh, Chrissy's voice is cute at first, but it wears you out after a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I get it. But he, but he already came, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. uh, it's fair. <laughs> what else? Mandy, Mandy Sanchez says, I wonder if Bobby changed his tune about the Ann Coulter roast. Oh. oh um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Um, here, can you just look nope. that over? i got to thank these guys. Well, we talked about it last week. I thought it was, uh, you know, editing, and they set her up, and... Um, I think she's stupid for not taking the jokes. She wrote her own jokes because yep. she thought she was funnier than Mike Lawrence, and she's not. <laughs> I know. She's fucking dumb. The guy's the f one of the funniest joke writers in the business right yeah. now. I mean, just brutal, and he could have helped her, and she could have talked to them. Like, but I think her jokes would have worked, though, like if she was like you know, at, at a country club somewhere. You know, like they weren't terrible jokes. I mean, they were short jokes worked here. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I know he's a big guy, but we can fuck with him, guys. <laughs> he's not the he's not he's, he's not, not the that. Indian in cuckoo's nest. <laughs> he's also not that big. <laughs> <laughs> to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I didn't. I mean, she was in the room where she wasn't going to win. Yeah, it was I, like it was a weird thing, wasn't it? Yeah. It was I just, just my, here's my gripe at all, when it's all said and done. You fucking ruined it for me, because now you're talking about her. I would have just loved to have been smashing dumb, cute Rob Lowe. Yeah, I became mm -hmm. the Ann Coulter roast for sure. Yeah, That's just all have that roast. Remembers. Yes, I'll enjoy that roast. <laughs> have that roast. Yeah. You know, don't set somebody up to. I don't know, whatever. He only really had one thing about him though, like, oh, he banged like a couple underage girls, and that's not even like. Really, like a heinous thing. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, ooh, boo hoo, like she's 17. You know what I mean? It's like, it yeah. wasn't like he did, a, like almost everyone else that gets roasted has a litany of shit that is like funny to make fun of. Do you think they booked Rob and then were like, oh shit, what do we do? I or think he took it like a champ though. Like he, he loved it because he's like, yeah, it's not that bad. This is hilarious. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, it is fun to watch people who like aren't comedians try to be funny though in that atmosphere because it's like such a specific thing that like n only like one percent of people can do because they do it all the time. Oh, you could tell the difference. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> as soon as a comic steps up to that mic, uh -huh. um, but a lot of good actors and actresses pull it off though over the years. Well, they yeah. pay attention to the writers. Right. You know, they they mm -hmm. do their job, which is repeat the lines. I thought Peyton Manning was great. I thought Jewel was great. She was great. Yeah. I think Stole. she was a real, yeah, I thought she was a real. So, yeah, I mean, my, my opinion hasn't changed, but I just, you know, you know, I th look, Ann, she's a fucking loon. She fucking deserves it. Not for nothing. Really? She does. She really she does. does. And why don't you promote yeah. her book and She does. Stuff? But wait a minute. Yeah, she did yeah. not, do you think, she, okay, do you think she's, hang on, do you think she said yeah to promote the book? 100%. That's exactly why she That's did why it. That's why she did it. Yeah. I'm sure people warn her. It's like you're you going to get ripped apart. You don't think she right. said this would be a great stunt? No. Mm. I think she agreed to do it because she wanted to promote her book. Yeah. I think, yeah, but why if you hate her? If everybody uh, pretty much Comedy Central hates her, <laughs> right? <laughs> why expose her? Because it's good why, well, Look at why us. We're talking about it right now. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. All right. There you go, Mike. You want to exactly. end the conversation? <laughs> <laughs> what's, next in the, what's next in the chat room? Then? <laughs> fucking Mike wants to just fucking... I actually saw her in I a new the, chicken I'm commercial. E -break. He wants to hit the fucking 30-second forward button. Go ahead. What do we got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Mike Levy. Are ask? you on a fucking French ship on weekends? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been dressing very European lately. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good look. You don't like it. I like the look. It's just your hamburger shirt. You're not a fan. <laughs> well, my, well, that was a fat joke, <laughs> so I appreciate it. <laughs> but you son of a bitch. Go ahead. Uh, Mike Levy asks if Joe Bartnick is the chief from the Cuckoo's Nest. I already said it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm so don't. Yeah, but I don't, don't have that do much it. Stuff. I'm making water out of dog shit here, buddy. Every week I say <laughs> the same thing, and then you fucking start coming attacking. That's me. never happened before. Um, <laughs> listen, just say okay and move on. I'm the Indian. Don't make cry. it a fucking. Why do you, you <laughs> gotta make it a battle every week? It's not but a battle. I'm running on the stuff, and I know. Just don't say it. Just so we got nothing left. <laughs> we I'll get some more stuff. Yeah, I panic when I go to you. I freak out. I have nightmares about you going. What else you got? What else you got? I just said, what the fuck? <laughs> what else you got? Nothing. Okay. What else? I'll mo I, I can do it. I got it. Do you really have nightmares <laughs> about that, Deepu? Sometimes, yeah. Why, why are you fucking retarded? <laughs> little he bit. is retarded. Is That's this a dream nuts. right now? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> yeah, that voice never exists in real life. <laughs> um, well, it, it's funny. What, what, what was uh, crazy to me today, first of all, I want to say that... Uh, um, uh, I'll say it later. Um, we, uh, this fucking whole Hillary Clinton thing, this is, cr this, this whole election is freaking me out. It's insane. It's I just don't, un I mean, Trump, I, he's right there. He's probably going to win. <gasps> I, I mean, and then you got, I mean, I got friends of mine that are going, I'm voting for Trump. And it's like Norton is voting for Trump. Do you think differently of somebody when they say that? No, of course not. I do. I, I don't. I don't do know too. why. I do. Like, like I know people like I, I, I love that'll say, I don't know, man. I'm all about Trump. That's because you're, you're a communist. <laughs> I'm not a communist. That's the problem. <laughs> I just fucking hate him. I just can't understand it. I, I don't care. I, I look. I wear. This is my motto, and it's queer. I know. I worry about my world, not the world. Mm -hmm. If I'm a good human being, I will pass it on to other human beings, and they will pass it on to other human beings. And it will pay it forward, and we can be. But everybody's worried about fucking Trump. Trump isn't going to affect your life as much as you think he is. There's a ton of people around him controlling him. Okay, the world's not going to fall apart. Yeah, other countries are going to fuck with it, and things are going to happen. But you're still going to be able to fucking get do your job. You're going to tell your fucking mediocre middle jokes. Absolutely. You're going to fucking <laughs> tour the country as the Indian you are. <laughs> you're going to fucking be a headliner in Poughkeepsie. <laughs> you're going to meet a guy. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, and then stop coming on the show. Uh, I hit on you too much. And you're going to get more commercials. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And then Deepu's going to get an H&M ad. <laughs> I'm going to die alone. I didn't even. I didn't even. You're dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I didn't I'm even ask you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you and Scopo got caught fucking, and then I killed you. Oh, <laughs> God. Kill me. Kill me. Oh, it's just fat pud. You know he's got some fat pud. <laughs> I bet his dick is just, oh, it looks God. like it's just, it's in powder. Like it's been in, you've oh, seen it. No. You've seen oh, it. constantly, yeah. You, yeah, what does it look, is it nice? Yeah, I see it through, I see it through gym shorts. But, you know, it seems like a normal penis. Oh, I, I think it's suppose. probably pretty good. It's probably, I mean, look at the size of his ass. You can't have that much on the back without anything on the front. He'd fall over. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to have something happening down there. Yeah, but I bet it's, I bet it's pure white. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like there's it's no, clear. the head and the shaft is the same color. <laughs> like not even any pink, right? Just white white. Yeah, it looks like a prototype dick. <laughs> Dude, the, the darkest blue vein running across the top. It looks like a dick that somebody was Getting drawing hungry. and they didn't finish. <laughs> His pubic hair is probably beautiful. Though. Circumcised or no? That's a good. I think we should. I bet he has blonde pubic, like like hay hair down Get there. The curl over. And there's a mole. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know this guy, but his dick's making me sick. <laughs> it's making me hungry. Are you, so you're voting for Hillary? I have to, and I don't like her either. I, I, uh, what the fuck's I going on? Well, what's going on with her? I'm the same. I'm voting for Hillary, but I don't. It's the lesser of two evils. This is the first election ever where everyone is just voting not for the other person. Yes. Like there's so many people like. Okay, but her, what the fuck is going on with her? Her pacing she's, out was the worst thing that could happen. Like, it's really, it was really bad. bad. But she's coughing. Well, she okay. has the flu. She has an ammonia, she's saying. Coughing, coughing, and then she has a hole in her tongue. What? Have you whoa, seen whoa, that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at this. I don't know about a, this. Is this a piercing? No. Mm -hmm. it, I, I, people don't know what it is. It might be fake. I don't know what. No, I don't, this is the problem. I don't know what's real and what's fake now. <laughs> I know. And then she fucking passes out. Her fucking 
this and she had the uh, the um, seizure on stage. That, yeah. Then she did the thing with the ladies. That's, going, a, ah, ah, ah. that's not yeah. is that a, that's not a hole. It looks like a discoloration or something. Buddy, <laughs> kind of does look like a hole. Looks like it's a penny sitting out of time. That is not a hole. Is that the only that picture of it? Because right. it seems maybe Bill put a cigar out in it. Don't Let's look see. right. Oh. Mm. That's not a glamour listen, shot. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay, but here's the deal. She's having these mini strokes. Mm -hmm. She's got guys with fucking these these Secret Service EpiPens coming up on stage because they're see so they know to look out for signs of her seizing up. Mm -hmm. Okay, because they're immediately there. That means they're watching her to see if she gets sick. Something's wrong. And now she's out in front of this fucking thing. And she f flips out, and they dra fucking drag her. That was insane. Those shoes are ruined. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Maybe she was on her period. You know, people can... Know. Or, you know, She's 70. She's on a fucking period. And the blue glasses, did you hear about that? The blue sunglasses That's like that she's wearing now? They say that they, there's like a certain prescription or tint for people with Parkinson's to help control their seizures for Parkinson's. That's why she's like all of a sudden wearing these yeah, blue tinted glasses. Yeah, but who's the they glasses. say? Who's the they yeah, say? Yeah, you can just question all these right. sources. Exactly. Like, you don't know what. Why didn't Muhammad Ali wear glasses then? Because he oh had shit God. to do. Those glasses look insane, though. Yeah, like, but they're she saying, looks insane. She looks insane. She always Crazy. looked insane. Bernie's starting to look pretty good. Too. Know, is Can that we just crazy? sub him back in? Well, like, that's what they're that saying thing? too. Is that if she ends up like health being taken out, that it's probably going to be Biden or Bernie that'll come Can't back be in. Can't fucking Biden. No. Why not? He's nah. great. But when Bernie came <laughs> back with his, <laughs> why did you turn into a muppet? Turn into a tiger for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. great. Let her do the voices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. By who are you voting for, dude? I don't know. Probably not nobody. Not really? Not, so you're somebody. Yeah. <laughs> so Trump? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no, you know, my, my whole thing with Trump is like I don't like his stance on Mexicans. I just, I don't agree with it. I love Mexicans. Because you might be one. No, but I like banging them. Uh, you know, <laughs> no, I, I mean, if pe people who don't like Mexicans aren't in the real world, like no, like nobody white works in L.A. It's all Mexicans. Like Mexicans are like Italians. Mm -hmm. They're good people. I don't I understand I the problem with Mexicans. It makes so that, shit that, really, so that really makes me mad. Although I do agree with his stance on like I don't want the Islamic people taking over. So I do agree with that. I do. I agree with you, dude. To, yeah, because to me, it's like people who downplay Islamic. Deepu, can you leave the room for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's not. Like, you know, he's not a terrorist. But no, I mean, he's but, actually. But, we don't know that. But, but the people that the people that downplay that, it's like when religion takes over, it's called the Dark Ages. And they want it, like they want religion to take over. Yeah, yeah but that's so just one sect of that group of people, though. It's a big sect. Here's it's a lot of people. I it's feel a like lot of people, and they're taking over. Any president, fucking England, any and fucking I mean France. Yeah. I mean, dude, this this parts of France, the cops don't go in. Yeah. Hey, I just think. Oh, oh Jesus! Shit. Did we bring up the right topic for this fucking guy to show <laughs> oh, up? Oh goodness! We're talking about fucking <laughs> Mexicans and ISIS. <laughs> 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 Are you taking off? Yeah, yeah. All right, Rob's going to actually take off. Rob, I love see you, you buddy. Love you too, bro. Bye, Thanks for Thanks coming for on. Me, man. You got it, man. I appreciate it. I'll see you later, you man. It, Rob Sprantz, everybody. Bye. No, you, no, no, we don't. We don't have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just said you it. You were setting us up. I fucked you up. I, I know. <laughs> I gave you the morning zoo. Guys, Rob Sprantz, everybody. <laughs> I didn't even want to. My hands just went together. We have uh, train. Anthony Kumi is in the house. It's like Blackjack. Was this a hot seat? <laughs> <laughs> was it a hot seat? <laughs> what did I just do? Double down. <laughs> You really, really do look like a bunch of <laughs> shitty magicians. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is definitely like a five dollar table of terrible Ted's. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, we would just we would just talk, I mean I, I know who you're voting for. Uh, yeah, you're voting for Hillary. Of I, course. <laughs> mm -hmm. We well oh. here's the thing is that I just it's freaking me out what's happening to this woman and I, I'm I'm really like. I, I, is this a fucking what the fuck? She, her, she's got a hole in her tongue. She's fucking yeah. Get ready for a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're dragging her. They're fucking up her shoes. <laughs> she's got blue sunglasses. I, I don't know what the fuck this is. Hey, I'm just voting for Trump because of it's a protest. I want everybody, every politician, to just go that we fucked up so bad yeah. that they actually elected this guy. Yeah, you like it, like if uh, you would do it for a promotion yeah. at the company, and the boss made the retarded mailroom guy yeah. and gave him your job that you were supposed to have, 
And, and you'd have to go like, wow, I fucked up. Can I, say, some, can I say something to you? Sure. You have beautiful eyes. I've Thank never you. noticed that. They're fiery <laughs> red, kind of. I don't know. They're sandy tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> they really are. I've never noticed your eyes. Yeah, you tried to fuck every single one of these people <laughs> yeah. today. I've been married, yeah. I got a three-year-old. I got a small pecker. Fair enough. Okay? I, I need something. Would you? I haven't tried to fuck you. Notice that. I'm the only one. I'm not into fucking <laughs> IBM, nerds. Uh, <laughs> I know your dick smells me. like a fucking sock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Would you have believed, though, like two years ago, that yes, this sir. would be what it's going on? I, look, it, it seems like a, Hillary, like a yes. Hillary, of course. Of course yeah. I knew once fucking Obama won the second term. He, she is the next motherfucker up. But I just didn't know physically. I don't know what the fuck. She's sick. There's something wrong yes. with maybe the next president. And they're not fucking... Are they trying to fix her like a like a NASCAR? They're bringing her into the pits? <laughs> She's <laughs> limping across the finish line, and they just want her to finish. They don't care what happens afterward. They just want her elected. They want her elected, and then she dies. Then and whatever, yeah. Then really? Kane takes over. That's it. They want her in. They don't want Donald in. They don't want him in there. I don't want the fucking him in either. Why? Kane? Fun. No, it's Trump. Kane, listen, because he doesn't... First of all, he tucks, and he doesn't wear a tie. I don't like those fucking guys. <laughs> Either dread, wear a suit or don't wear a suit. Don't like you're fucking at a kiosk in a mall. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you and you don't. And he's fat. Stop tucking. Uh -huh. Hide your tuck. I, I don't like him. He's, he's just fucking, hey, fucking smiling asshole. You're the vice president. Be presidential like Tom Brady. Tom Brady. <laughs> presidential. Who also likes Donald Trump. I know. Tom Brady, Dana White, fucking Jim Norton. <laughs> he does today. The first time those three today, have ever been in a sentence. on the show you got kicked off of. They <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what to call it anymore. So oh, when you're here, that's shit. Some, oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! We had a good time today. Yeah, why don't you explain to everybody? I'm sure they didn't hear it. What them? The show. Uh, what happened? I mean, to everybody, explain what happened on the show today because no one was listening. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm trying to insult the show. <laughs> I know. What are you doing to me here? <laughs> was, I don't get a fun time today. I love the you show. You know, right? I love Jimmy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> anyways, we. <laughs> it really is hard to say. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm going on the the opium. Fuck. The, ah, whatever Opie show. Because I don't know what the fuck to call it. Opie and acquaintance. <laughs> Norton <laughs> show. <laughs> but anyways, we, uh, we look at these anyways. I'm not. I'm not nah, I don't give a Ed shit. Ed Norton. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I do the, I do the Howard Stern uh, wrap up show anyways now. Oh, a, shit. oh snap it. What's Oof. up? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Baba Booey. Listen, there you go. That's all you got to say. <laughs> well, Baba Booey here. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I just don't, I just don't fucking understand. Yeah, Trump, okay. But it's fucking, it's the guy that was telling people, you're fired. It's the guy that failed at so much shit. <laughs> fucked up. He's failed. golf courses. His hair fucking stinks. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Trump. I get it. I understand that he says these things. But he's fucking shit. You ever see as Taft's mustache? Taft, Taft looked insane. But did you ever hear him? Like a hundred years ago. Did you ever hear him? Yeah. Did you ever so? hear him? Did you ever hear him? No. Totally different story. <laughs> no TV. Those guys were fucking holy shit. Because they didn't have microphones. They didn't have fu they have lights. There was people with fucking candles. This, has to, this movie has to end with Donald Trump being elected. Yeah. I won't accept uh, this movie ending after a year of watching it and go oh the ending sucked i wow. need him to win for the ending who to you, be cool who are you this vote for uh i would vote for hillary you're voting for hillary yes oh, of course you would because you sing your sentences <laughs> uh, wait what happened Did I um i would vote no 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 i was just i just joking who, who you'd be voting for nobody yeah i don't i don't think i'm gonna vote but i've I, I i would lean i would actually lean lean trump really just for yeah i think it's a better I figure I anybody who's saying they're not going to vote is probably leaning toward Trump. Trump. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm telling just you. How it's and who, what about you, sweetie? I'm voting for Hillary. I, I love think she's I the can't. lesser of two evils. Can you say I'm voting for Trump just so it sounds cute? I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> 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 I love you. You know, Trump's temper frightens me. What do you mean? <laughs> He's, he, he has a temper. Hillary's been an animal, much. though. Are you There's Secret it? Service guys that have said she throws things, she yells and screams. Uh, yeah. Trump just Hil fake. He's you're fired. He did the you're fired <laughs> thing. It was all phony. Ha Tr Hillary, wait a minute. Hillary definitely has a worse temper than fucking Trump. 
and I guarantee she like. Have you looked at Trump's Twitter? Yeah, he, I don't he, know. He literally, he hate. just gets in front of it. He just says whatever he no, wants to you're, say. You're talking about a fat guy typing, eating McDonald's on a G5 private chat. <laughs> I'm talking about a fucking little twat throwing a handbag at a fucking assistant because she didn't get the, uh, you know, the right medicine. This, she, I, I well, guarantee. We're trying to keep her alive. I would hope that I'm you. Just, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I would want the right medicine too. She's uh, all right. NPR voice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay and now NPR. I don't know. I just keep saying shit. You gotta fucking get a laugh out of somebody. Listen, it's. I think that she has a worse temper than Trump. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I just feel like Trump is so full of hate. And Trump wants to defund pa Planned Parenthood. I don't think mm -hmm. Trump's full of hate. No. I think he says shit, and he doesn't mean it, and he fucks up, and he doesn't know how to back out of it. I think he's like, we got to have the Mexicans build a wall, and they'll pay for it. He thinks that sounds good. It's not like he's like, fuck Mexicans. He just doesn't know what he's doing. He said doing. they were murderers and rapists. No, That's, he, he said, said they're coming see, over. See, this is how it goes. It goes, th th this is how they fucking twist it around. And he said illegals. <laughs> he said that Mexico is sending over illegals that are made up of some nice people, he said, but they were sending all of them, also rapists, yep. murderers, whatever. Yep. He, and then it gets <laughs> twisted around to, oh, Trump said Mexicans are murderers and rapists. No. Never fucking said but that. But here's the thing, and then you, the these, then you look no, at these little Mexican totally guys, different. the little Mexican kids are sitting there going, fuck you, fuck, yeah, yeah. fuck. It's That's like you're, you're teaching hate. What Mexican the, kids are we talking about? Oh, that, little, that little Mexican kids like, oh. fuck you, Trump. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah, That's that ridiculous, pastor. too. Oh, look at Morpheus up here at the fucking 9-11 yeah. thing. <laughs> fucking Hillary Morpheus. Who would you vote for? I think I'll wait. I think I'll, I'll know when I go in to vote. Like, I honestly am going to wait to see how this whole Ooh. thing plays. Really? But I almost surprise feel, us? I, yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> with I'll, your, I'll with tweet it. Yeah. Uh, I think <laughs> Trump might almost be, because no presidential candidate, it's that they always like eventually don't live up to what they ever promised. Right. Right. So I almost feel like that's why we should vote for Trump because all the crazy shit he's spewing is like, well, he's ne not going to do it anyway, just like every other president. You can't. So let's vote for him so that none of that happens. I feel like that's almost <laughs> the right move. <laughs> that's pretty fucking. That's good. I think that's the the, the way to go. I'll I, know when I walk in the booth. I just think if I, I vote for Hillary and she dies, yeah. I just would be pissed off that if they if they like if it's something really wrong with her. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this shit is freaking me out. I was if we leaning... lose the old lady, we lose half our political connections. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these kids; they're so angry. Oh I don't. God. Yeah, like, I, this, what the fuck are they but doing? This is all bullshit too. It's just like uh, I think it's all bullshit. Everything is. And listen, I'm not claiming to be smart in any sense of the we word. We know, but <laughs> <laughs> we didn't either. Also, like, <laughs> just because you wear glasses, <laughs> we don't think you're smart. No, but what I wanted to say was... Just because you have a beard, we don't think... Just because you part your hair to the side, just because you wear salmon, just because you have a polo shirt, just because your fingers are thin, <laughs> it's just because you, you don't work out, just because you sing your sentences, just because you pronounce your eyes, just because you know words that I don't know. <laughs> He's wearing khakis, too. Oh, no. <laughs> you're a rat, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Big Vagina. Oh, shit. That was a call it's back. I sad. like it. Hey, listen. All I wanted to say is yes, sir. part of me does think everything's bullshit. Mm -hmm. The president really doesn't do anything. Yeah. So maybe putting him in, you know, exposes all of that, which, I mean, you know. You don't think that if they That's put Trump point. in, right, he's yeah. going to be in there. You don't think he's going to fucking lose his mind? That's what and, yeah. and like somebody, how? but No, yes. wait, wait. And that's wait. awesome. Yeah, I think, I think he's going to be like, he, he's going to tell somebody, uh, uh, Mr. President, we don't do that because, hey, go fuck yourself while well, I'm doing it. And he's going to do shit and expose shit that's never been exposed. And, I mean, that's what people are thinking. That's that cool. It, 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 but people are thinking that if we vote in Trump, he'll take down the system and it will fucking, it will, that's what we need. We need to fucking rip it apart. And he will go in like a Trojan horse <laughs> and blow this shit up. And that's what that's why some people are voting for this. But I don't guy. think I, I think him just getting elected puts a dent in the whole system. Yeah. It's like, oh, my sure. God, that's crazy. And, but look at what he's done over the course of the years. Whatever. Th oh, he's a failure. This the three thousand companies and four of them went bankrupt over the years. He also mm -hmm. delegates responsibility. I, I've said yeah. this so many times. I've never seen him with a hammer and nails in his hand, yet buildings go up with his fucking name on it. He knows how to the delegate worst buildings responsibility. Ever, by the way. What, what, oh, 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 I'm sorry. You're a building inspector now. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, he no, has no, the fucking it. same taste as Saddam Hussein. Whatever. <laughs> his buildings seem to be full of hey, people. Hey, it was a joke. Just there. move on. Stop trying to fucking. Oh, right. <laughs> what the fuck are you? All Rush right. Limbaugh? <laughs> I'm just saying. 
He knows he'll he'll surround himself with people that know what the fuck they're doing. Sit there as the figurehead. Well, shit gets done because people are in place that know what the fuck they're doing. I love Keith the cop sitting over on an iPod playing games like your kid. <laughs> <laughs> dad, you almost worry, ready? Son. We'll, be, we'll go home soon, son. <laughs> it's like my dad used to take me to the bar when I was a kid and just sit me there. Have a give me a Shirley Temple and some peanuts, yeah. and he would sit there making some kind of fucking shady deals. Oh, no. But I was in a bar at like nine. It was yeah, awesome. We know. <laughs> now we, now and we know I, the problem. I've never left. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you have one in your basement. Yeah. <laughs> now you, you recreated the bar. You were at a... <laughs> ah, shit. Great. That usually be for Halloween. <laughs> little Anthony at the bar. Little st Anthony with tears I, in his eyes. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I, I mean, look at Hillary, for me, I was really leaning to her because she had Bill, uh, who did eight years. Yeah. She's been in politics her whole fucking adult life with Bill. She's with Bill and yeah, not with Bill too, you when she vote did her own her. thing. She too. was very before. She was. She's always been trying to be a powerful political figure. She's always wanted this. Fuck. Yeah. So, so, did, so did Hitler. <laughs> yeah, that's why you shouldn't vote for. Like that's that. Honestly, a career politician is yeah, the last thing that, that we might. might what everybody might need. doesn't. And want Trump right will probably now. expose all the alien stuff. Like day two, he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> And yes. that's what I think we he's deserve gonna, as a country. A he's he's going to come out with a laser gun <laughs> and an alien head off. They're like, what the hell is this? This is just I, what I found in the attic. I <laughs> <laughs> got, got laser guns. <laughs> He'll just start tweeting photos of alien bodies. That'd Wait be the greatest. Like really look around. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have a tour of Area 51. Yeah. Come follow me. This is where I found the ship. <laughs> he's going to come out on a ship. Yeah. It's going to have Trump on the front. Yeah. Gold plated. <laughs> Every American's gonna get their own laser beam and yeah. ship. Doesn't that sound like an awesome country, though? That's what I want. He's gonna turn Area 51 into a golf course. Yeah. Oh. And Alpha Centauri's gonna pay for it. <laughs> oh. I mean, that's that's the uh, to me the only reason to vote for Trump. Is just to see what the fuck happens. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's my point. That's what I want. So they'll, it, yes. they'll kill him if it gets too crazy. <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> so it's not like it, he can't like get too much that in the true. wrong direction. Like it's like, oh shit, 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 dead. Like it's yeah. not going to be a long process where we actually yeah. burn the system to the ground. But he yeah. might throw a couple of papers into the fire, which I think is going to be a beautiful thing. A good thing. pro fuck video it. of the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> <laughs> People have to see the. <laughs> 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 He's done. <laughs> 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 I'm starting to go Trump now. I feel like I might actually go to the Trump. Direction. I mean, I mean, either fun. either side's a fucking sick move. Yeah. But I just I I don't know if I can do. I don't know if I can vote for Hillary. I mean, that that last. That, if you watch all the shit that's happened to her, because no. like, you know they put that in a video where the, she's, the lady goes, and she goes, Wah, she hears loud noises, <laughs> yeah. and she's like, <laughs> right? That's well, think fucking about this. We still have like two months too. So much more shit can happen. In that time period too. Yeah. This I is can't the wait story the, this week. There's the, always the, a story every week. You, do, you, do you understand? Trump is such a piece of shit. If he finds out that loud noises <laughs> set her off oh, during the debate, he's going to be quiet and then go, "I just want to say, <laughs> get ready for a surprise." And that fucking broad's going to hit the ground twitching. He'd hire, I hire Marriott. Dropped an Encyclopedia Britannica on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just loud he's noises. Gonna get, he's just going to get those Chinese white dots and throw them by her face. <laughs> pop, pop. Hire he a mariachi should. band <laughs> to play her out just to really stick it. He should come out with surgical gloves and a mask when he shakes her hand. He's gonna, just he's, he's really gonna get, make her look bad. He's going to get that dog that can pop 100 balloons in one fucking second. <laughs> 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 the drag her wig's going to fall off. <laughs> She's now, a, she's yeah, it's funny too. She, I, I, I she, it's getting, it's getting weird. It's there's no. How do you? What happens on camera? Drag her into a the fucking elect. Maybe the elected president. Drag her into a fucking car, and then two hours later she shows up coming out of a store. Yeah. And she's like, "Hey, <laughs> meeting a little girl." You should have walked to a fucking camera. Look, this is what happened to me. I, I was feeling really bad. I just fucking, I haven't eaten. No. I have pneumonia. Wasn't acknowledged. Not acknowledged. Yeah, when you didn't acknowledge, good. you think I'm that fucking stupid. I'm dumb, <laughs> yes. but I'm not that fucking dumb. They're gonna I'm stupid, but I'm not. I'm smart. I'm not that I'm smart. Stupid. Right? Yeah. Well, the other kid, the, like the Hillary supporters, their big argument is, 
Like, oh, well, wouldn't you be exhausted if you're on the campaign trail for that long? Like, wouldn't you have some problems? Like, yeah, yeah. this isn't even the beginning. She's going to be the president, and she's going to she's walking around yeah. shaking hands and waving at people, and she's falling over in the street. The president of the United States cannot fucking be dragged. No. <laughs> by her shoes into a fucking car. I'm sorry. We're, we're fucking. We had fucking. What's the one? The wheelchair? FDR. Stood up. Yeah. Stood up and fucking wobbled over to it. We will fucking win. Gave a speech. Crippled. For the rest of the time, though, he was in the wheelchair. He was yes. getting blown, though. Getting blown. A the man. Right. Man. <laughs> During now, World War II, he was in a wheelchair. That's fine. That's great. You can't fucking, we can't, I mean, Jesus. I mean, it shows so much that, shape. you know, it's crazy. I, I want, I, this is why I want her to be president, too. I just want to get it over with. Please just elect a woman president. Get a Spanish one in there. Get a gay one. We don't need them all one well, after another kind of a thing. <laughs> get oh, it we have the black. We need a woman. We need this. Uh, yeah, but think about this, Anthony. <laughs> it's like, come You're on. Th think about this. Get them all the way now. And then in your 70s and 80s, you can go back to all white guys. Oh, God. The country will be ruined by then. Sound ruined? Like <laughs> it's ruined. <laughs> shitheads who don't talk right. <laughs> ruined. <laughs> by scheduling. <laughs> Schedule. It'll so, be a real win. <laughs> sounds like you're casting Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> Just get them all out of the way. Oh get them all out of the way and then get back to the funny people. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, they, they say that this is the first Spanish cast member ever on SNL. Right? What about Woman. Horatio? Woman. Yeah, wait a minute. Oh, because they have... Latina, oh, they're calling God. Enough with the subcategories. That's what's dividing the country. How about who cares? That's Whatever why she is. That's, that's why a, Trump's winning. Because in middle America is sick of all the political correctness. Yeah. In my opinion. Yep. And they just want yeah. someone to say the truth. And not this, oh, this and that. Exactly. And, 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 and that's, they just want to hear someone say, this is the way it is. And okay. Boom. Is Hollywood really, okay, is Hollywood really going for the sake of minorities and women in the direction of minorities and women? Because it, it matters and it's the right thing to do? Mm -hmm. Or are they doing it because this is the, the heartbeat of whatever the country and this is what's selling right now i think they think it is but it's not they will do anything that puts people's fucking asses in seats for their movies and their concerts and buys their fucking records that's what they'll do and if it turns out that they realize that a majority Hang of the country second. a majority okay. of the country are those basket full of deplorables that Hillary is talking about, yeah. they will turn in a second and start dropping N-bombs just to get people into their movies. Here's the thing. Right, here's the thing. I just want to update your speech. Oh, thank you. 1984. <laughs> uh, don't use records. <laughs> records. <laughs> you know, if to you get people's asses in the seats for the records and the cassettes. Buying their records. And the, and the fucking... <laughs> when you crank your Victrola, it's going to be these people that... What the fuck yeah, was that? I, I he had me until you said records. Records and tapes. <laughs> and <laughs> compact, <laughs> compact disc. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> well, look at like the culture now. Like Roast Battle is one of the hottest tickets around, and that's like against PC. That's like con like going for the the gut. That's going for the kill Meanest shot. Mean shit ever said. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah. that's what's selling right now. So to yeah. say that this PC culture is huge, I think that there's a big rebuttal against yeah. that there's idea. There's a blowback. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Trump's yeah. Trump I mean, is. Yeah. There's nothing funnier than making fun of races and right. and and and. Other people and fucking shit wrong with us. Mostly it's, gays. It's, yeah. Well, it's fun. People who say, oh, only punch up, don't punch down, are ruining comedy. Comedy yeah. is all about punching down. That's the whole point. Yeah. And they don't get the ridiculousness of something that's so crazy and obscene and wrong and why that's funny. Like a rape joke or child molestation joke or shit like that. Yeah. It's like, no, there's no place for that in humor. It's yeah. like, no, there is. Because the fact that you're saying it and putting it in a context like that makes it funny because it's so outrageous. You're not joking about the rape. You're joking about talking about it in that context. And people don't get that. They might as well, If a judge says it or a doctor or a comedian, it's put all in the same category. Of, yeah. Can't be said. You records. can't have just Mexicans making Mexican <laughs> jokes. <laughs> It's not right. going to be as funny. <laughs> yeah. You can't just have gay guys going, gays are crazy. You can't. Uh -huh. You can't. I mean, yeah. it, it, we should be able to fucking make fun of anybody we want to that? Where of. does that leave white people? Oh, we went to the moon. <laughs> oh, look, we built everything. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny. <laughs> 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 Don't forget Apple. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's all right, Trump, a, Trump's uh, going to expose that too. Yeah. The moon. The moon thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we never went. He's going to look. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, i got to read these ads. 109.56, sweetie. Babe. Thank you, man. Um, I should have you read one. You're the fucking best. Uh, I read got a that. Hillary cough. Oh. Uh, you, oh, you can't read it? Can you read it? A little bit of a cough. Oh. I don't have my glasses. Oh, your glasses. You I fuck. need my glasses. Yo, I'm bird. like, Hillary, my <laughs> shoes fell off. I, listen, I'm trashing you. I forgot mine. That's what I'm trying to pass it oh. on. You. <laughs> I can't read any Hold of this shit. Arm's length. Hey, we spend ungodly amounts of time on our daily commute. And the trouble is there only so much <laughs> of Robert Kelly to help you pass the time. All right? That's, that is a problem. Yeah. People need more of me. So when you find yourself <laughs> on a gridlock freeway, get lost in audible books. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that kid in school that you felt bad for when the, the teacher told him to read aloud. You should tell her read it. I'll read it. Okay, you read it. Oh, She's yeah, got the voice. Right, there he goes, go. this fucking sponsor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, it actually says audible. <laughs> in the fucking thing. <laughs> so many people will be jerking off if she reads it. <laughs> All right, don't stop. get dirty on my ads. <laughs> this is actually the only way I read books now, too, by by the way, is yeah. audible, uh, yeah. Well, it's not reading. It's man. not reading. <laughs> <laughs> we had the problem. You and read by obvious. listening? You're not reading. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, look, at, I love a book. I love holding it. I love people seeing me with one. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I don't love, I re as soon as I'm two pages in, I'm out. Yeah. Do you hold I'm the out. book while you listen? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's okay, what they should along. do. Uh -huh. yeah. They should do is fucking uh, put the the audible uh, <laughs> like a little thing. When in Trump's the book. president, yeah, and have like a bouncing ball go along with the word. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like so, when you find yourself a gridlock, the freeway, get lost in audible books. Whether it's a mystery, a thriller, a memoir, Ooh. a bestseller, mm. <laughs> audible can turn your commute into another world. And I love this too because. Uh, all you have to do is download it. Download all your books or your shows to your mobile device and listen while you carpool, fly, or on the train. I took the train from uh, White Plains the other day. To, I loved it. Braggard. 30 minutes. I love the train. 30 minutes in the city. I'm at Grand Central. It's the best. Another 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I'm down at uh, Spring Street, Apostle. It was great. I loved it. My new wolf pack backpack that slides off and spins oh around. What? Come He's on, son. Oh, uh, wait till you see this. I backpack. love your goods. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, it really does. I, I, I actually listen to audible.com on the train. Put my headphones in. Because you know what? I'm, I, you know, in those seats where, like, he's facing you and you. That oh, shit man. seat that they invented? What the fuck is that Why? seat? <laughs> the worst i don't want first of all he's got his bags in front of and i sit down <laughs> he hates me because it's the only seat yeah. now i'm just staring at this fucking ginger <laughs> <laughs> shit dick from fucking yonkers <laughs> shit dick. anyways i just put my headphones on listen to audible books that's always the seat that the guys that were escaping from the pow camp had to sit and the nazi officers were on the other side and they had to stare at him the whole time. It was very Yeah, suspenseful. that was comfortable. Oh, you want to bring that yeah. up there on my fucking attic? <laughs> <laughs> you no, it was there. a movie. It was like, uh, <laughs> yeah. what was it? Uh, the Great Escape. First yes. of all, you saying Nazi, nobody wants to hear. Oh. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> everybody's hair goes up. Even <laughs> Keith just dropped the fucking iPad. <laughs> Not again! Oh, oh okay. Great. He just said the word. Great um, Steve McQueen movie. Uh -huh. With an unmatched selection of audio books, original audio shows, news, comedy, Audible is your best source for traffic entertainment. Audible app. It's got a great app, too. <laughs> Makes listening a breeze with features like chapter navigation and narration speed control. You can even share your favorite audio uh, excerpts with your friends. How do you like that? Well, I mean, you could share a book together, mm -hmm. baby. That sounds lovely. Mm -hmm. Chapter two, I Mein Kampf. <laughs> <laughs> auto members have access to the original audio shows, short stories, ad-free podcasts. That's good. <laughs> yeah. How does this show... Wait a minute. <laughs> that's, just, that's a fucking weird thing to say. Uh, news, comedy, and more. Are you listening to anything we should check out on Audible? Well, you know, tweet them, and they'll actually look into it and suggest it. Include hashtag. Now, if you listen to this right now, all you have to do is go, I love audio, audio, uh, audible.com. I love the YKWD. And hashtag Audible Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. Hashtag Audible Kelly. Do that. Make sure you get to them. Anything you want. 
Join Audible today and explore the world's leading provider of audiobooks. Start a 30-day trial and down your, your, uh, download your first Audible book for free. So here we go, for free. Yes. And your 30-day trial for free. Go to audible.com slash kelly to get started. That's audible.com slash kelly for a free 30-day trial at uh, audiobooks. Audio, audio, okay. yeah, go there right now. Check it out. Kelly is the code word, slash kelly. Uh, here's another one. Do you want to read this one? I'd love to. Do you like football? Love it. Do you really? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I can read, I can act like I do. Listen, you should have acted the whole way and then I, later went, I don't like football. I really do love football. <laughs> do you love football? So much. Do you love the men? Love the men. Do you love the tights? And the tights. Do you love the ball? Love those balls. No, but what? it's singular. <laughs> I mean, it's singular. It's one ball. Love the ball. Because <laughs> it's me. I lost the nut. <laughs> there you go. Check that out, sweetie. Oh, I my God. I'm so excited. Me too. At DraftKings.com, you don't need to come in first place to cash in. The player who finished 800th in week one's biggest fantasy football contest took home 100 bucks. This weekend, DraftKings is hosting another huge fantasy contest with over $1 million in total prizes up for grabs. <laughs> it's really good so far. Yeah, are you don't. DraftKings <laughs> is the... Now I'm going to really sell it. DraftKings is the destination for one-week fantasy football. One-week fantasy means no season-long commitments. Pay whenever you want with the players you want. Just pick your contest, draft your team, and follow the action live. Re re renew old rivalries with friends, family, and coworkers to find out who the superior GM is. Whatever your level of fantasy expertise, DraftKings <laughs> has something for everyone. Now, this is the call to action. <laughs> call to action. Don't wait. Get to DraftKings.com now and choose your players for this weekend's contest. Enter promo code Kelly and play for free with your first deposit. That's promo code Kelly to play free for your share of over $1 million in total prizes this weekend. Only at oh. DraftKings.com. DraftKings.com. Eligibility restrictions may apply. See website for details. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. I nailed I it. Nice. Rose the nailed paper it. like Letterman. I want you. That would be the most adorable, adorable way for someone to start a gambling addiction. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's the beginning right there. Thank you for letting me do that. I love awesome. you, babe. Thank you for doing it. Um, uh, my tour is out right now, RobertKellyLive.com or TheLaughButton.com. They are sponsoring my tour. Uh... We start out this weekend in Vermont, me and Stavros. We're going to Vermont, we're going to Boston, we're going to Erie, we're going to Pittsburgh, we're going to Cleveland, we're going to Chicago, Indianapolis, Tallahassee, Gainesville, Tampa, all oh the... F and then Washington, D.C. <laughs> 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 the uh, True Story Tour is up on my website right now. Uh, we're going to be bringing uh, T-shirts and posters and all kinds of crazy shit. We're going to be doing live videos every day on Facebook with the Mevo camera. Uh, a lot of shit's going to be happening. Uh, so make sure you go to my website, look at where I'm going to be, buy your tickets, tell your friends, let's sell this shit out before I even head out the door. Uh, and also, if you want to be a member of the uh, You Know What Dude premium membership, uh, this week we're actually putting up the creeps with kids. I'm getting that to you so we get that behind the premium. That was one of the funniest fucking shows I've ever done. We did a show, Creeps with Kids, me, right. Luis Gomez, Jim Florentine, Bonnie McFarland, hosted by Bennington and his daughter. Oh, my God. And then we, we, we all did stand-up, which Those was awesome. Creeps. And then fucking, <laughs> exactly, Bennington goes up, does a panel with us on parenting. Some of the fucking most evil, fucked up, funniest <laughs> shit. Bonnie McFarland That's is a, f oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit funny. <laughs> She's the best. And, and, and it, I, I, it, it's going up for all the premium members behind the paywall this week. I got a one-on-one -on -one coming up. Uh, we got these coming up that's going behind the paywall. I'm doing this new series called One on One, again with the Mevo camera, behind the paywall. How do you become a member? Download the app. Robert Kelly I, Live. Robert Kelly Live. You know what dude app. You know what dude app for Android and, uh, What's and this? iOS. Nice. And this is Mevo camera. I'll tell you in a sec. It's fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you join. One ninety nine. That's it. It's not fucking like seven ninety nine like some of these other fucking networks that charge a fucking shitload for one show. Oh, sorry. That's just crazy. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 
Sorry, it, I don't have a free studio. <laughs> <laughs> you you could have. Fuck face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking time they told this asshole, just come over here, do it here. <laughs> Giving your face on the wall. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Obviously, you're saving money on not having any air conditioning in here. We have one. <laughs> we have one. Wait, did it be? Oh, that could have been good. fucking three Ks of instead of an R. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. All right, whatever. Those two. I went too far. I, I, I went too I got far. You meant. I went too far. <laughs> I, uh, hey, Keith got nervous again. He jolted. Listen, relax. Um, <laughs> join the yeah. Join the. Oh, sorry, one ninety nine a month. Join up. That's it. You get all this. All every show. On the backlog, it's for you. All the new stuff we put up, premium members only. But if you can't afford it, I get it. Ten episodes, always free. You'll always get the latest ten, no charge. There you go. Uh, all right, let's get back to this. we got around a half hour left, man. Um, you did the Brennan thing tonight. Yes, I was a pisser. I had a lot of fun. What'd you, what, what happened? Uh, well, Attell came up, and then they, uh, like, auctioned off some girl. <laughs> quite astounding. Wait they had three what? guys come up, and uh, they did, like, a dating game for, uh, what's her name? What was her name, Keith? Yeah, they kind of, uh, you know, pawned her off on one of the guys that came up. Really? It's kind of funny. Yeah, one guy was a Mexican. The other guy was um, uh, John Stewart, his name yeah. was. He wasn't the John Stewart, but he was... John Stewart that comes over my house and plays poker all the time. <laughs> so he's a friend of mine. And then uh, another guy was just some dullard named Mark. Right. And then, uh, yeah, they, she picked uh, the Mexican guy, which was weird. Why? Uh, he was kind of, you know, he was really Mexican. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Well, it looked like you look at him and go, ah, they have an apron on? That's a Mexican. <laughs> yeah. 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 They have a backpack of weed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of those things that was... Ugh, he was blowing leaves away. <laughs> he had his own donkey. Buck Rodriguez with the rocket pack on his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was really Mexican. What the fuck? I love it. What does that mean? Did he have a mustache that didn't connect <laughs> to, his, <laughs> to his goatee? <laughs> uh, yeah, she picked him. So you know they'll they'll have fun. And stuff. Yeah. But it was it was great. And, uh, tell is. Fucking brilliant! I, lo I love. Well, Dave. you know, it's it's the show. I mean, Kevin's a fucking lunatic. Oh yeah, I love and, that podcast. Well, it's a I look at it man. Too. Here's How the deal. I mind. told him tonight. I go, I go. Let me tell you something. I everything. The name. The the fucking song. The photo. The fucking. I, I did ev. I fucking saw you mumbling on a fucking hallway. <laughs> Oh, and I shit. went, you, Lenny, this is it. This is the name. Here's everything. I, I did it all. I made you. And it's like, <laughs> I'm a fucking comic. And I'm, I'm better than you. I'm more successful. I'm doing, and I still help you. And then I took all my fans and said, go listen to you, you fuck. I'm <laughs> Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You told me in Philly, like, you got to listen to this. Yeah. I, I promote it all the time. And uh, <laughs> look, I like the guy that put I, Mike and here, the Mad Dog together. I look at I like <laughs> Lenny and him, and I think look at the same shit happened with me with uh, Noam's podcast too. Uh, comedy uh, live from the Comedy Cellar. He wanted to call it Nights of the Round Table. I was like, no, <laughs> fuck it. What the oh, fuck no. does that mean? Terrible. I go, it's live from the comedy. Is it from the Renaissance from the table. table. Live from the table yeah. is the name of the show. That's it. And then I, I was I did that show first, and I said, "No, you have to do it." And then Dan Natterman and Kristen, I, you know, I had Big J replace Noam on that. He quit that fucking show nineteen times, the first year. He was like, "I don't want to do it." Fucking stinks. Oh no! And then it became part. No, quit it. Just oh. didn't want to do it. I had Big J host. I had to talk fucking Kristen and, and Dan off the ledge every week. <laughs> it was fucking nuts. And I'm I'm a comic. I, I mean, this is what I do. This is what, I'm a comic. This is what I do to help you fucks. I'm doing this to help you, you fuck. I don't need to fucking help you. <laughs> Bobby's a comic. So, <laughs> and actor, slash. Yes, right. So, anyway. Audible pitchman. Uh, it's just funny to me when you go to somebody and you're like, dude, I want to do this. What do you think? And they're like, fucking, yeah. They're so, yeah. Fuck, huh. And then two months in, once people... Once they, people start liking the show, they just fucking turn their... Dude, we need fucking... Shut the fuck up. Get a little I'm juice. Looking they at, get a little juice. But, but that's the don't. show, though, I I'm, think. I know, it is a show. Absolutely. That's the show. But here's the thing. He goes, where for, I go, dude, you're not even number four on this network. Mm -hmm. I go, oh, and he's, shit. I go, and I have the numbers, and I'll bring them up right now. You're pulling some serious XM shit. I got fucking... On them. <laughs> oh, you fucking numbers. Fuck you. You know, Stern, shut up. But here's the thing. If you listen to his show, he says the meanest shit in the world, but then he 
right at the end, he fucking softens it with something. You mm -hmm. understand? That's why people go, what's his name calls me? Dude, he's trashing you. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Did you yeah. hear what he said about you on Twitter? I'll, I never, <laughs> I have a three-year-old. I'm trying to make it in this business. My show is canceled. I don't oh, no. care what Kevin Brennan said. I could give a fuck what he said and eight other people liked. Suck it. Because I get him. Uh -huh. I get him. But, look, fucking whatever, man. How'd you hear, how'd you hear about the show? What show? Like, who told you? About what show? The show being canceled. Oh, um, actually, Leary uh, called me, oh, left a message, and then Serpico called me. Uh. So it's... Larry called all the cast. Serpico has to call everybody else. Yeah, it was a, look, it wasn't a, sh it wasn't like, what? We got great. We were, we did like the the first year we came out, we broke all the fucking three day, nine day numbers. We were killing it, and uh, and then the second year, you know, I was telling them, I told them the first, first of all, it's, it's the summer. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck's staying in on a, on a Thursday? Oh, guys, let's go. It's not 1952. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Sex and drugs and rock and rolls on, guys. And people gather around a TV. Yeah. That show would kill right? it in 1952, though. What's that? 1952, that show would be amazing. It it's on fun. right after I Love Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> so, number, but I told them, number one, the first week, mass shooting Thursday night. Second week, fucking terrorist takes a, a truck and takes a bunch of people out on the fucking... Are these the episodes? No wonder it was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the next week. The oh. week after that, Trump speaks. Oh. The week after that, Hillary speaks. Week after that, the Olympics. It's like, fuck you. you just can't get a break. Thursday night yeah. at our time slot. It's like, I'm, I'm not even watching the fucking show. <laughs> And I'm watching Trump talk. I'm like, what the fuck? So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it is what it is. FX is such a solid network. They, yeah. they give us every opportunity, and they really push the show halfway through. They were like, we need to, and they put Dennis and Corbett out there, and you know, that's whatever. a lot of ads. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever, dude. Onward and upward, right? Yeah. More shit. It yeah. always happens. No. You go, ah, that's it. Fuck shit, and then something else comes up. Yeah, right. there was a lot of shit that I couldn't do because I was on the show too. So who, who the fuck knows? Um, yeah, it was. It was definitely. It definitely hit you though. You know what I mean? It's like uh, almost like a. You ever have a hunger? I haven't had a hunger pain in five years. <laughs> yeah. I, I still, I'm literally, I yeah. don't remember. I've never been hungry. No, what's that like being fired from your job? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> 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 Wait, you Tony, were fired Tony. from a job, Tony, you? Tony, Tony. Oh, you're Maybe being sarcastic. Once or twice, <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bobby, I know what it feels like. It's not a hunger pang either. <laughs> Yours wasn't. Oh, Yours was no. a bullet. <laughs> that was pretty much it. <laughs> what does a hunger pain feel like? A fucking shovel to the head? <laughs> that's what it felt like. Did it really? Oh, Dude, okay, terrible. here's the deal. You go through all the shit the last time. You go through all the shit. You do all the thing, right? And then the next day, they call you. Do you now, you, you get the can the next call? day? I didn't get a call. I got a fucking email after 10 years. Oh, yeah, we're not. Uh, we're, you're fired. It's a, I had to call them and go, really? A fucking email, you cunt? And, really? Uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. So okay, but you, hang, or you, get, you say you cunt, fuck you, bum, bum. Yeah. Then you hang up the phone. You're alone, right? Yeah. Okay, what was you're the alone. subject of the email? Oh, uh, the subject. Was <laughs> Black good. woman, Times Square. Yeah. <laughs> you could, uh, no, Twitter, it was something no, like, no. Uh, I think I tried to spin it positively, like, uh -huh. hey, you could sleep late. <laughs> like, shit like that. That is true, though. It was. I, I could sleep late. <laughs> Don't get up so early anymore. <laughs> <laughs> when a <the> door closes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at the sand. Yeah. See those footprints? That's <laughs> when he was carrying That's you. That's when. Because you were yeah. drunk tweeting about <laughs> black people. <laughs> so I'm gonna carry you and put you into bed. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, though. I really uh, want to know this. Yeah. So then you're alone and you're fucking, f as your president was, you're fired. Yes. How, I really, I mean, did did it did it get emotional, or was it no, anger? It was anger. Anger. There's a lot of anger, and I don't know how you do it without drinking. Right. Because the first thing you do. First thing I've done every time I've been fired pizza. is fucking <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. What do you think I've been doing for the last fucking three years since I got off the Dane Cook tour? <laughs> since I got off that G5, I've been fucking stuffing oh. my fat face. 
<laughs> oh, go ahead. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah no, you, you, you start, you know, you pound a few down, mm. sit there mumbling under your breath. Yeah. You fuckers, dude. Fucking bullshit. Wow. This cocksucker fuck. And, you know, you, that's what you do. And then you kind of uh, uh, lay but down. Do you go through the anger? Up. Like, because you usually go through anger, and then the next thing is regret and fear. No, it and just stayed anger the whole time. Really? It never changed to denial or anything. It just stayed anger. Hmm. That was it. I was very angry at uh, uh, the people involved. Uh, and then, you know, Keith came around. He's like, hey, you got that studio in the basement. What the fuck are you doing? No, I need a bigger boat and a bigger house. Let's do this. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that was it. And I'm like, yeah, you know, you're right. Let's fucking get moving. And Have then you once you, you yeah. start doing something... All that other shit goes away because yeah. now you're dedicated. Once you, on you hit that creativity yeah. and it's yeah. something else. Because I tell you, I've been, I've been working on something. I was telling them earlier. I've been working on something for two months now, a little over two months. And it's a fucking hard process. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of, you know, and, it, and it's the creativity of it. And especially the people I'm working with, it's like it, it will, I'm learning so much shit that I've, I've never learned. It was mm. like it's, it was, it's the hardest shit ever to go to kind of – you know, have a rebirth, you know, uh, of something like, you know, writing and, and starting something from the scratch with people you respect. And, and now we're at this point and it's like I had to learn. I kept failing and failing and then getting better. And then there was something else I had to learn. And I'd fail and stink and yeah. get better. And it's, it's that new shit. It's, yeah. it's exciting. It's yeah. scary. It's yeah. all this thing. And, and then you're fucking in something else. And all of a sudden, yeah. a couple of years go by and you're like, ah, oh, I've been doing this for a while. It's cool. Everything comes to an end. It's, it's what everything. happens. Yeah, everything. And and the thought of it is a lot worse than the actual event. Like, because when I was working over there at O and A, yeah. I would think like you know, like you just said, everything comes to an end. I'm trying to imagine like, oh fuck, that'd suck. Uh, and you actually get anxiety thinking about it. Mm. And then when it happens, it sucks, and you do. You go through these phases of just being pissed or mm. you know, whatever. Uh, but it's not as bad as how you projected it to be when right. you're just thinking about it. So, and you're in that situation, so you can either sink or swim. Yeah. So you got to do something. Right. And you know, you realize there's plenty of opportunities out there. Yeah, there is. There, I mean, it's not exactly what it was. No. It's something different. Like, have you ever been fired for something? Like McDonald's? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Jesus. I have been fired. Yeah. No. I what, got what fired, you fired at. Uh, I, I was a security guard at the Met. You? The Metropolitan Museum Speech. of Art. I'm the, oh. I'm the commandant. Yeah. <laughs> I was protect the I protected the Picassos <laughs> and the David Bowie exhibit. I was actually, I was in the Picasso area a, a really? lot of the time, yeah. No the impressionist, shit. Bobby, on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> um, you motherfucker. <laughs> you got me. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> Get your finger off your chin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <laughs> contemplating. <laughs> So at the Met, <laughs> at the Met, uh, for the first three months, it's before you're in the union, mm. so they're really like watching you for those first three months, uh -huh. and they always told me not to look at my cell phone. It's boring there because you're there for fucking nine hours in like one or two rooms all day, yep. and they just kept catching me on my cell phone. Oh. So you got fired for checking your Twitter. What were you doing? I was just looking at my phone all the time. But what was on it? What was so fucking awesome on your phone? Dude, I was in like a tapestry exhibit, right? Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> the, the lights oh. are dark. It's Did dark in there. Did you get that shirt from that exhibit? <laughs> tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third shirt I tried on. Um, <laughs> Salmon is the fiercest fish in the sea. <laughs> Says the Indian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to do it in the Indian voice. An in, in Indian told he, me that. Yeah, he drew that <laughs> with blood on a wall on a cave somewhere. <laughs> 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 oh, God. An Indian told me that. <laughs> Theo Fleury. <laughs> the great hockey player. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah nice. nice. That made sense. Yeah, well, yeah. So yeah, no, I did here. <laughs> some knowledge. Yeah, here's the bomb bandana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't feel bad for him. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's yeah. been a while. It's an official it's one. The first Harry. time. It's official. It's got a bomb. So go ahead. You got fired for that. Yeah, so I was in the tapestry room. <laughs> It's dark. It's really dark in there. Because it's tapestry. So it's tapestry and it's dark. And uh, I was like, it's, you can't really stay as awake. So I would look at my phone. And <laughs> like a couple weeks previous to that, they were like, if you look at your phone again, you're in trouble, basically. I just leave your phone in your locker. Because I didn't really want to work there either. Right. You know, like they brought, me, they brought me into the office, right? And the yeah. guy was like, he kind of tried to give me an out, like, 
hey, like, I was like you when I first started here. <laughs> and he's, like, the head of security now. And, like, he tried to make me, like, be like, no, please, I'm sorry. And yeah. I was like, I get it. And then I just, <laughs> they, like, walked me out. <laughs> you couldn't hear them coming? Like, really? like footsteps in a big open. Dude, no. <laughs> no. Or the, the, did the tapestry absorb the sound? There's also, the <laughs> there's also <laughs> cameras all over Why the Why don't net? you do oh, a okay. Thomas Crown and just take a photo <laughs> of the room of you just oh, standing there God. and put it up there? <laughs> there's a little glitch every so often. <laughs> <laughs> his hand goes like this <laughs> into his pocket. Yeah. I think he's on his cell phone. His beard never grows. Yeah. <laughs> Just get a bunch of guys that look like you to walk around with their phones. <laughs> Seems like a lot. Yeah, I'm just to look at your phone. It sounds like hell to be in a museum. Oh, I love the Met. It's a great, it's it's an awesome museum, and I, it was fine to just like learn about that shit for a little bit, but I couldn't yeah. work there for much longer. It was brutal. Yeah, especially in the tapestry. Oh, yeah. What a fucking shit. They moved shit. you around. They moved you around, but yeah. like in the tapestry room, there was also like a room where they had like old furniture from like. Oh. Oh and that was those God. rooms were dark right. too. So there was, was a like, chair you couldn't sit on the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Dick Van Dyke's also, office like, chair. <laughs> you're saying like I'm a security guard, like you like insulted me, but uh, like old ladies are security guards there. Like mm. it's not like they just need people in the rooms. I don't know if I insulted you. I made fun of you. <laughs> I think there's a difference. <laughs> yeah, if you were retarded, I went, duh, duh, duh. That's kind of insulting No, I'm you. saying, like, I don't look like a, an imposing security guard, but everybody was a security guard. You do. You look like you could be imposing, like, an apple. Thank you. <laughs> but what's happening? I can look at my museum. phone there. You should get a job there. Yeah, maybe. Security at the museum isn't like being a bouncer at a bar where there's going to be big problems. <laughs> yeah. So you do have to drag somebody out of the mess. Yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah. That's yeah. All right, get the fuck out. Literally, all I had to do was not look at my phone. <laughs> and you couldn't. No, I couldn't it. swing it. That was it. What do they pay? What does the security guard make there? Oh my God, man! It was a few years ago, so I, it's hard to remember. But it was like terrible. It was like <laughs> something like uh, I want to say like twelve to fifteen dollars an hour. Ooh. That's a lot of money. Right? And it's it's a that's a, ton that's of a lot money. of money. No, that's it's not. And then they take taxes out. That's and no, you get to go not. free every Monday. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually go free whenever. But. Oh. Yeah, it's a donation right. system. Watch Cheap out. date. Would wow. you like to see the tapestry room? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said we were going to tapas. <laughs> I'll take that. You ever been fired? I've been fired a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> Such ease. Are you, are you kidding? <laughs> no, yeah, of course. Who doesn't get fired? Well, it's what easy. You been, I've never been fired. Really? You been hang on, hang you on. You were fired you? last week. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> I didn't even know that was the first time. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> you got me back for all the fucking <laughs> shit I said about your stupid shirt. I, I, th um, I think the biggest firing I got was uh, at Wade Gunderson's car. Uh, <laughs> the <yellow> shit there. <laughs> nope, don't know him. Don't vouch for him. <laughs> 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 uh, when I worked at the Metropool in uh, Pittsburgh, it was a big yeah. night, nightclub, and I used to I used to take a lot of acid. And one time, my uh, my manager was I like, yeah, you, "You look like what's going on?" And I go, "I just took a bunch of acid." <laughs> and then the next week, I wasn't on the schedule. Really? Yeah, hmm. but I've been fired a bunch of times. I mean, there's yeah. all kinds of. Well, all in one day, one time I got fired. My girlfriend broke up with me, and I was I got jailed. Wow. And he was oh in on, on acid as well. That's <laughs> You were in jail? Yeah, but it was a misunderstanding. <laughs> Isn't that what everybody in jail says? <laughs> uh, there, I'm innocent. Lawyer fucked me. <laughs> what happened? Uh, basically what happened was a uh, homeless guy kind of attacked my buddy. So we, uh, we, we... What'd you tweet about it? <laughs> 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 That'll get you in a jam, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, and then uh, so basically, like we kind of roughed them up a little bit, and then like the liberal uh, lady in a window was like, "Oh my God, they're, they're like hurting this guy." It sounds like a play. Yeah, <laughs> so. the it's liberal Hitchcock. lady in the window. It's a Hitchcock movie, <laughs> rear window, right? So I had a, um, and then so I was in jail for a couple of days, so I wasn't at work. So then I got fired from that job. Wow. That was a bagel job at a bagel shop, so it wasn't a, a career. Sounds like a fucking yeah. great job Not to me. Bagels. It was a great job because so many hot chicks would come like for uh, coffee in the morning. It was yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, sweetie Perk? girl? Um, I've never been fired from Aww. a job, but I haven't gotten a lot of jobs that I've wanted, mm -hmm. and I've you know, 
and I've quit a lot of jobs, but I've never been fired. Never been fired from a job. What no. was your last job? Babysitting. Oh, I'd love for you to be my babysitter. <laughs> I love kids. Kids will love you, me. Will you babysit for me sometimes? Yes. I would love me and Christy do kids. together. Oh, uh, yes. I would <sighs> love to. I've seen photographs. I love it. I would love for you too. Yeah. Oh, Chrissy yeah. and Janet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chrissy and banana na na Fucking. Part of me thinks that you want her to babysit you. Yeah. <laughs> Shows up in my, my, my diaper and mat. Yeah. Max's yeah. hot wheel bed. <laughs> stuck with just Max jerking in the off shed. through the diaper. <laughs> <laughs> my dick's just flipping out the side of the diaper last night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've done a ton of like nannying in the city. Yeah. For years. Yeah, yeah of course you do. <laughs> do the dads ever hit on you? No, I get asked that a lot. Yeah. No, they have. Yeah, why not? You're a fucking nanny, and you have the Sesame Street voice. <laughs> 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 That's been the quickest interview ever. <laughs> I know. Hey, have you ever? I know. Like, uh, why do you want a nanny? Why do I want? Hi, you're, you're hired. Fucking. <laughs> 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 I'm going to say fucking 150 on cable each month with your fucking voice. Have you been fired? Uh, I might have been fired once or twice, but I'm, I'm pretty good about seeing the writing on the wall and I quit. Like, I see it coming and I just, like, stop showing oh, really? up. Oh, you've never been something. fired, though. I've probably been fired maybe once or twice. He saw yeah. the tapestry on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Debo, you ever been fired? Uh, yeah, I was doing a small-scale construction gig for one summer, and uh, I, I, I just showed up high a lot. And uh, one time the leader was, the, like, the project. The leader? <laughs> the leader. <laughs> the leader. <laughs> Fucking Indian people. <laughs> <laughs> the leader. I mean, the, who was the leader? The foreman? The guy, the Whoa. boss. Like, it was his business. <laughs> you stop making everything Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> 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 Maharaji. <laughs> Sul the Sultan the said. Sultan. <laughs> he had 12 arms. Uh, the leader. <laughs> you were you were just stoned, he just though? he just goes to someone else and he goes like you see how how red his eyes are you see how red his eyes are and then I just never got called back for uh, what did uh, you do? Uh, it was like so I was like an assistant to like these other guys that were building sets for like corporate events for like Samsung and uh, oh. like fashion like we were built like we built a lot of runways yeah and backgrounds for events like that right it was a pretty cool gig but uh, yeah just fired. What yeah, about you, Lil? Yeah. I almost got fired um, at my previous job because I worked in sales and I wasn't making my goal, and I literally just <laughs> talked my boss out of firing me. I was like, you know, it's all right. Yeah, like, yeah, I'll listen, do I it. can do it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk my boss. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I can I make talked him out next of month. <laughs> <laughs> I can fucking <laughs> make, it, make it. You know, never <laughs> know. <laughs> it was a tough month. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> gonna bring those numbers up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I hear you. All right, I'll give you one more shot. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. And then I saw him looking at porn. He actually got fired a couple months later because he was like addicted to porn, and everyone in the office, like all the women, would catch him watching porn on his oh, on yeah. computer. Well, what's yeah. he supposed to watch? Yeah, yeah whatever. That's a, <laughs> a fucking thing. stock yes. market. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> well. I guess I have been fired. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking uh, shit thing. Uh, what happened there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, did you ever have like just a regular shitty job that you got fired from? I've never been fired from a job. I mean, I Before. I worked with the juveniles. I worked at a lumber yard. I worked uh, delivering flowers. I worked at an Italian restaurant. I worked with the mentally You quit all these jobs? I quit them all. I quit them all. Never I had. Fired. I mean, I never got fired, ever. Ever. Why? One time, this guy, I had tax problems in high school. How do you have tax uh, problems? What? In high school? <laughs> like T A C S? I don't know. I just <laughs> <laughs> like no one has a fucking. <laughs> I don't know I don't, what that is. I just got. I got. <laughs> I don't know. I just got. I had. I had jobs. You, you know, probably didn't I, file your working papers right. I don't know. I worked at a. I worked at a styrofoam factory. <laughs> Making, I would make half styrofoam balls with a mentally retarded guy. <laughs> me and this, I swear to God, me and this guy with Down syndrome, Holy he'd make one ball half, and I'd make the other half, and then we'd give wow. it to a Mexican lady, and she'd glue them together. I, feel I like swear that, to God. I feel like that guy has the same exact story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not the first guy to use that line, but it's still brilliant. I give it to oh, you. I went down and working with the guy. He's a good. fucking idiot. 
<laughs> well, you know, the, re the mental retarded guy was my boss. He was my boss. Holy so shit. So we would go in. How old were you? Um, 17. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, 16. No, wait, wait. 16. Yeah, 17. I was going back in high school. And I would go to school for two classes a day. You, you made two left sides. <laughs> it's a sphere, asshole. Turn it around. <laughs> Turn it you around. made left, right. We need top, bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I remember the the guy who owned the company was this old Jewish guy, Mr. Goldberg, and he was like, "Bobby, I need you to come in on Wednesday and stay late because Christmas is coming, and we need more <laughs> ornament balls." <laughs> Styrofoam business picks up during the holidays. It does. I, love it. Never I can see that. So we would. Uh, so wait a minute. This whole company was comprised of a Jew, a yep. retard, yeah. a Mexican, yeah. and you. Yeah, it's a new show coming out on fucking Comedy Central. <laughs> That's what him and Joe Lister writing. <laughs> it's the remake of Undateables. <laughs> it's called Tax Problems. <laughs> it's called. No, it's called. It's called no, Felice Felice Davi Mary Hanukkah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, no. So he would make a ball. I would make a ball, and then we we give the ball to this little Mexican and lady. Somehow the IRS shows up. <laughs> well, I made all this money. The INS. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made all. Sounds this very money. lucrative. Yeah. I made all. The, I made this money, and I didn't. You I didn't, paid per ball. I, <laughs> <laughs> the Jews don't just control Hollywood; they control styrofoam <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> so I made this money, and I remember I wanted a moped my whole life. Sure. And I didn't have enough money to buy a new moped, like a, the newer ones. I had enough money to buy the older moped with the pedals oh. called the Motor Bacane. That was like the first moped. And everyone was talking to me, dude, just wait, and you know, don't get this, it's old. And I was like, I got to have it. Mm -hmm. I had my old foster father, Ken Lazarus, another Jew guy. Mm -hmm. uh, he was my foster father. I love him to death. Mm -hmm. Still love him. He drove me to get this, this fucking moped. <laughs> that was the one with the like, you know, the fucking one person seat and the pedals. You could pedal it, <laughs> but it you really couldn't pedal it because it, it weighed seven hundred pounds. <laughs> it wasn't so you'd cool. Do like three pedals and then just tip over, right? <laughs> oh my god! I remember I took it. They seized this thing. <laughs> well, what happened was <laughs> seize your assets. Yeah. I also was working at uh, Grossman Bargain Outlet, and I would, I would, um, you know, flax, flat stack the yard. So you go in and all the two by fours. People picking at them all day get all fucked up. You go back and fucking perfectly flat stack the whole thing. And so I went there and I showed everybody my my. And then I went to an AA meeting, had my meet my Tuesday night, and I was going up uh, from. Um, Malden into Melrose, oh. and I and the thing fucking clunks out. Mm -hmm. So I, I get it to a gas station. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I'm bummed out, and they're like, Well, you can leave it here for tonight. And I go to my meeting. I get a ride home. The next day, I call up. I go, I'm coming to pick it up today. They're like, Look, it fell over last night after you left. Oh, oh and I go there. The engine blocks cracked. It would have cost me. A thousand dollars to fix a two hundred and fifty dollar oh. moped. You're the oldest seventeen year old, by the way, <laughs> in the history of time. <laughs> AA meetings, yeah. two jobs, IRS. <laughs> you got a fucking tractor that you're calling a moped. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bobby. <laughs> so, so I, so I'm, I'm literally, I'm not even kidding you. I was so fucked up. I'm a year and a half sober, or two years sober. I'm fucking losing my mind. My, my, I just worked so hard making these balls. Oh, oh that's terrible. They, work, they worked you like a retarded Mexican. <laughs> so, uh, so I... So I called AARP. <laughs> <laughs> to see if they could do anything for me. <laughs> I remember I, I came home and I locked myself in my room. And I was, I was going to kill myself. I was oh, my God. I was, over I was hanging. Yeah, because it's all I had. Oh. And I, had, I, was, I was literally... Flipping out, crying, and what the fuck? I can't catch a break. I'm trying to do the right thing. I fucking working. I'm not drinking. I'm not using drugs. I'm just f to myself. And then I'm hanging. I'm literally hanging out the window. And I barricaded myself in. And my mother comes in. She's like, she pushes. The, she goes, Bobby, Bobby. And she's like, it's the second floor. You're only going to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> 
<laughs> I literally would have just broken an arm. Uh, I would have never died. I would have to literally dove out head first. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be ironic if you fell into a big box of those styrofoam <laughs> and nothing happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking balls. And then the guy came out. I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so... So wait, where did the tax problems come yes. from? <laughs> I'm getting to that. Okay. <laughs> so now I, I made this money, and then all of a sudden I get this bill. I owe the government taxes that I just didn't pay because uh, I think the styrofoam guy. Off the books. I, some weird shit, or he didn't. I, I don't know. I just didn't do what I was supposed to do. Now I owe all this fucking money, and I think I got money from the government. I don't know what happened, mm -hmm. but I owed this money, and then my art teacher her friend was this bald, like Dr. Phil looking guy that lived way out in the suburbs on a cul-de-sac on a river or a lake. Like he had money, Beamer, you know, like that mid-range money. Like, you know, where you live? Yeah. It's like th those people are rich. You guys aren't fucking yeah, multi-millionaires, not... right. but you're probably millionaires. You're comfortable, yeah. Thousandaires, <laughs> right? You know what I mean? They have millions. But they can't get to it right now if they needed to. You know what I mean? I'm not liquid. It's not liquid. Right. This guy was like, well, I'll, I, can, I can help you with that. How much was it? I don't know. Say it was uh, 500 bucks. Okay. Which, dude, at that time in my life was a million dollars. I could be a friend to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he's like, I can help you. You know, yeah, I well, can you got to come work for me at my ball factory. <laughs> well, funny. I said, I was like, okay. And he was like, I thought he was going to call somebody at the IRS. Mm -hmm. He just wanted me to do like yard work. Oh, cool. And he was going to pay it for me. So he wound up paying it off for me. And then I owed him this yard work. But after he paid it, I was like, fuck, I don't want Yeah, wanna... fuck you then. So I brought, I lived with Ken Laz at the time. Now I'm living with Ken Laz. By the time I have to go do this yard work. And I have a, a Puerto Rican foster brother named Carmelo Sanchez. So I bring Carmelo with me. <laughs> oh, no. So me and this Puerto, he's like, Bobby, I don't want to do yard work with you. <laughs> I mean, he is fucking just, you know, dude, my name is Carmelo Sanchez. I'm discombobulated. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one day I go, it's, there's no such word as discombobulated. It is. Look it up in a dictionary. Discombobulated. That's what I am right now. I was, <laughs> so he came with me and we're sitting there doing it. The, we had to do this. But he had like massive fucking shit that should be done with like a bobcat. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? And, yes. and I got me and this Puerto Rican doing it. And we're dying. And we're taking Fuck breaks every are. 10 we're seconds. <laughs> we're fucking... It's a shame the moped was broken. He comes up with a snake. He's like, boy, I got a snake in a river, right? Like, Put that down. He's like, why? I'm like, I don't know what to... We eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how much did you actually owe the, the IRS? I, I don't know. I forget. I would yeah, say I know, like a anywhere from 500 something. to 1,000. Ah, right. Something overwhelming at that stage of my life. Do you feel this guy got more work out of you he, than that amount yeah, of money? I really fucked this That's guy. That's crazy. I really fucked this guy, dude. We oh, you did? Okay. We left Good. and... And just didn't come back. And then he called me up. He goes, you still, like, you still owe me work. Right? And I was like, all right. And I, we went back one day. And it was so uncomfortable there. Because we, you know, he was like, and we did it. And then I was like, you know what, dude? I'm, I'm only a fucking two years out of jail. You know what, I'm two years out of jail. This, guy, this kid's going back to jail next week. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and we just left. And we, we, yeah. never, we never went back. It sounded like he was trying to use you. Yeah, it was yeah. weird, man. And that man became the president of FX. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we got to wrap Damn. this fucker up. Um, I mean, what a great show. That was awesome. That was I, fun, I, Bobby. I, that was a good time. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> God damn it. I love um, being here. Thank you for having me. I wish you liked me sexually. <laughs> <laughs> Just, even, I know she doesn't because when she hugs me, she hugs me like a sweaty uncle. No, <laughs> you're not my sweaty uncle. <laughs> You'd be like a hunkle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's doing new face things too. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Deepa, we got anything in the chat or are we good? Oh, we good? Right. Uh, we got a couple things. All right, good, do. sir. Uh, Latino Legend says, well, Bobby was technically laid off as a son. 
<laughs> oh, <holy shit. laughs> wow. That's that was one of <laughs> Write that one down. <laughs> if we have an award show at the end, I think that will write that one down. Chat of the year. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah, you're right. I was laid off <laughs> yeah. a, a few times. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh. Panda Taki says, I bet. Uh, Tom Cassidy keeps his band-aids in his wallet where his condoms should go. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's funny. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do your fucking... I'm just trying to figure out the joke. It He's doesn't matter, Nerdist. We laugh. That's all that matters. <laughs> you fucking alternative fuckface from... Philly. I am not alternative I at all. I you're not. It was a joke there, okay. too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, what else you got? Under 10% says, It all <laughs> fell apart after Patrice died. I think he was referring to uh, the story oh. when the... And, uh, Anthony left O and A. Yeah, that no. kind of era at all. That's what he was saying. Wow. You know, it's it's weird to look at. I was, you know, because Norton is, uh, you know, Norton and Opie and you. I mean, I, I sit there today and I told Norton, I'm like, look, man, you guys, you three fuckers did, you you put this amazing shit together. Yeah. You three oh, yeah. together. I don't give a fuck what you fucking queers say about each other you know <laughs> whatever you three together whatever fucking horse shit resentments and mm -hmm. shit that built up from not communicating yeah. you guys that show was dude you guys were climbing stern that's why it lasted for 20 you guys, years you guys fucking we were selling out we had the best comics on the fucking earth Huge. on a show at the same time in front of thousands of people doing Pre shows, yeah. doing fucking football shit, having a blast, There's making money, and yeah. we would did we did some of the funniest fucking radio ever recorded on the fucking history of this planet yeah. for the rest of time. Yeah, that's it. And that's so it. that's and it. Like we said, things end. Things end. You know what's cool though? There's a little um, kind of a thing. Uh, Hillary, at one of our campaign ads has it just came out. Yeah. Just before we came. Someone tweeted that. Just yeah. fucking, yeah. She, she's using an O&A clip in one of her fucking ads. It's yeah. Donald Trump on a phone interview with us talking about, hey, he doesn't change diapers and that women should change the diapers. Right. And it's a fucking Hillary ad. No and shit. It's our show. That's fucking wow. crazy. I'm like, I was yeah, laughing that's my amazing. ass off. Going, gonna, this fucking thing just gets more ridiculous. If you guys were smart, right, this is what you would do. Uh-huh. Everything this year, whatever happens in October. Right. Everything goes, and then in a year from now, you guys get back together. Get the band and back together. And we all go back on the fucking show, right? Uh -huh. Like Voss, me. We get all of us. Yeah. And some of the new guys. Uh, not all of them. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 I'll let you make that decision. <laughs> and we fucking go and tear it up for two more years. Two more years. And then we take see how far, and then we take over the universe again. Uh huh. Because that time, politically correct, will be out. Yeah. Right? We have Trump come in on the first show. <laughs> right? And then we tour the country just doing the most awful, fucked up, horrific, politically humor. incorrect. Every, <laughs> yes. And we yeah. bring her. Hell yeah. yeah. I dumped Dawn and me and you stop fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Two more years. Two more years. Yes. Two, Two more years. years. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So check it out, man. Let's go through the room. It's been a great show. Uh, number one, make sure you go download the apps. Android. Or uh, I, iTunes. iTunes, Robert Fuck Kelly, you brain. know what, dude, app. That's right, baby. And if you want to mail something to the uh, studio, what That's, do you got? Uh, 117 McDougal Street, uh, yeah. zip code 10012. Did you read? Yep, sorry. Oh, yes. No, you're good. I've what is that? What is, I want to thank, uh, where the fuck is it? It's this shirt? Yeah. This shirt? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, I want to thank this. Uh, read that. Matt Goldstein. Yeah. Uh, Bobby and friends, let me first apologize for my three-year-old serial killer handwriting. That's all right. Mm -hmm. um, I love the show and your guests give us uh, uh, that you have on a regular basis. Yeah. I listen and shit, shower, and shave while I listen. Um, and clothes are two shirts from my podcast website. I do reviews, news, interviews, and geeky nature. Thanks again for all that you do, Matt Goldstein. Hey, dude, oh, Matt Goldstein. Go. Thanks yeah. for the shirt. Oh, Pretty nice. bad shirt. You want the other shirt? <laughs> Pretty bad. Does it fit you? Uh, <laughs> Not that one. The other one. Try yeah, it on. Uh, I'll take you it. You want it? Nothing. You don't want it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I want it. I think you I want, want it or yeah. not? I like it, yeah. I well, look at it. Okay. <laughs> 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 Do you, will it fit you? 
I, this guy tweeted at me. He asked my size, so I think this is my size. Yeah. Is medium. that for you? Yeah. Medium. Can we get a Matt? Get someone for Lauren. She wants uh, one. And Scopa. Right? She wants. And no, well, oh, he wasn't here. <laughs> Missed out. Oh. Um, I want to thanks for the. Thank you very much for the shirt, man. I I'm actually gonna wear this. I love this shirt. Um, uh, speaking of that, I got True Story shirts coming out. Uh, I got all kinds of shit for this tour. Go to robertkellylive.com and check out the tour. It's coming to you. Go to Laugh Button. Check it out there. What else we got? You, all this shit is from fans, by the way. You want to send something in, mail it in. We get it. What yeah. else? Um, if you want to come in and be a guest and watch us uh, here in the studio, just email ykwdproducer at riotcast.com, and we'll get back to you. Yeah, and send uh, tit pics to... <laughs> <laughs> you could do YKWD producer. Um, yeah. And nice. your dick pics. And if you want, uh, you, you want Lauren wants yeah, dick I want pics. Them, all right? Don't stop. Listen, stop uh, sending them to me, okay? Because I can't not look, and then I can't not go back and, and look again. Oh, some stop, of your dicks yeah. are fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even understand great. how mm -hmm. a fucking dick. How it holds, I don't even know. The weight of it, I don't get it. I'm lonely, I love it, keep them coming, thank Se you. Yeah, dick pits to her, not me. Stop sending them to me, producer. Not, I don't want them, because I fucking can't not look at them. And it's fucking, some of you have weird dicks. Get the vein checked. The vein shouldn't be that big on one side. There's a clog. Yeah. There might be some, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what do you got, brother? Uh, at the end, September 29th through October 1st, I produce a festival in Atlanta every year called Red Clay Comedy Festival. We actually have a Joe List is going to be on it. Colin Yay! Quinn's one of the headliners. Right, here's the fucking problem time. with this. I What the fuck with me? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Every festival doesn't have Bob Kelly on it. We're going to have you next year. Fuck your neck. I always wind up when it's dead. No more laminates. The swag is dead. No, it was dead no the first laminates. year. This is the resurge, and oh. then we're going to be big from now on. But they well, have a lot of great comics. I get, all, I, get, I get all these young comics, Joe List, Dance, all, and they always fucking sprout out. People listen to my show, then they go, and then they wind up on <laughs> festivals and everywhere. <laughs> And I'm fucking sitting here doing a podcast, having a promoted <laughs> fucking festival, <laughs> fucking <laughs> Colin Quinn. He's got one leg. Yeah, well, we're going to hobble him right up there. Right, so <laughs> what's, <laughs> the, what, what's the festival again? Red Clay Comedy Festival. What's the red clay mean? It's, uh, it's in Atlanta. So it's red, red clay is like a Georgia. Oh, I didn't know dirt. that. Okay, it's okay, like cool. a dirt known, yes. Right, so okay. Red clay. Redclaycomedy.com. Where are the, where are the venues? Uh, it's over five different venues: Buckhead Theater, Relapse Theater. We're also partnered with the. Uh, we're doing I music. I fucking love Relapse. It's unbelievable. I love me. Yeah. And Gary Gellman did the mm -hmm. festival one year. Yeah. Who? But what was that festival? That was um, the Atlanta Comedy Festival or something. No, uh, it might have been Skull. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's a good guy, right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Listen, sure. motherfucker. I want to go back to Atlanta. No, we'll, we'll come. We'll do it. We'll make it happen. <laughs> Why don't you make it happen now? Why don't you book a show there in the middle of my tour? On our way down, we'll stop at Atlanta from yeah. Indianapolis to Tallahassee. Let's do it. And then you do it, meet us there, and we'll fucking Let's do go. the show. I'm in. I'm in. Go we'll ahead. We'll make it happen. What else you got? Uh, yeah, and then, but we all, this, what's cool about the festival is that we have music, so like Run the Jewels, uh, wow. Mastodon, No Effects is going to be, it's crazy. It's wow. out of control. I, I feel I'm so old, I'm going, wow. I <laughs> <can't> <laughs> like Mastodon. No I'm Effects. Like, Come is, that on. A, is that a fat joke? It's going to be great. Redclaycomedy.com. The <laughs> tickets are insane now. You're, you know what, man? You're a fucking go-getter. You're a hustler. You're always I'm fucking trying. making it happen, dude. Seriously, you don't fucking take no for an answer. I, I love people like you, so good for I you. Check out that. Butter, yeah. All right, what do you got, Buttercup? Um, you can see I co-host a show every week at the standing room in Long Island City called White Chocolate. Yeah. We're actually... Do you date black guys? Uh-huh. All right, we're done. Listen, no, I'm kidding, 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 I'm kidding. I'll keep saying it till I believe it, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding, uh, good for you, of course you date black guys, you're fucking a little cute chick, blonde, okay, smokes Newports, yeah, why would you? Um, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm doing a roast tournament at the stand October 4th. Oh, you're adorable on the roast. Thanks. And you great. kill it. You're funny. You Here's go. why you're great on the roast. And this is what some of these fucking dumb comics, ugh, veteran comics too, you got to know how to take a hit. Totally. Mm -hmm. If you don't, that's why mm. like, when we used to do the show, oh, the yeah. funniest part was the guy getting slammed who could take a hit. Oh, and then punch his way back out. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how to take a hit. 
Thank you. You took that fucking pounding from Jimmy Carr, <laughs> and you became the funniest thing on that show mm -hmm. because of the way you took it. You were fucking great. So Thank you. All those black you. guys paid off. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved that joke, but without the finger. You hate the finger. I'm sorry. I hate your judgmental just... fucking finger. Uh, just hold the mic. Uh, uh, what else you got? Anything? And then in Poughkeepsie, my first headlining show. You got to go to this, man. This club in Poughkeepsie, call them up. Yeah. You should fucking go, too, dude. I would love to go. Not this weekend, but you should, no. you know, not step on her fucking headlining gig, you fuck, <laughs> fucking son of a bitch. October 14th. <laughs> um, yeah, but unbelievable club. Laugh it up. Yep. Poughkeepsie, awesome club, awesome guys. Make sure to check her out if you're a fan Thank of this podcast. You. Let her know you heard uh, her on this show. Yeah. What do you got, brother? I will be in Chicopee, Massachusetts this weekend. Love Chicopee. Yeah. That's where I started <laughs> comedy. Like, we, me and Dane and uh, a bunch of comics go out there and do uh, uh, these little fucked up rooms, man. <laughs> yeah, fun. Uh, this guy, Paul, he used to be Marty, Marty Capone. He had a one-nighter. Now it's a full comedy club. Yeah. So it's awesome. I'll be there this weekend. Uh, Wednesday the 21st, I'm at the Ventura. Where is it? Chicopee, Massachusetts. Yeah, right on the, uh, right it's on the edge. It's called the yeah. Cabot Comedy Club. That's great. Yeah, it's really fun. Good people there. Really, yeah, yeah. The best. They, they always show up with cigars and Crown Royal. It's like uh, the best. I know, you're, really, you're a man's man, bro. <laughs> Hanging out with you in Philly. You're so quiet. You, you're like one of my uncles. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just there's that man that, you know, can drink on the rock, smoke a cigar, just chill out. And you're like, what's wrong? I'm just enjoying the cigar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And like, oh yeah, maybe me, me too. I'm <laughs> puff, 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 <laughs> sip, sip, sip. Puff, I'm thinking of everything. Am I doing it right? <laughs> fucking asshole, I am. Is it, what else you got? Anything uh, else? Uh, some dates with Bill in October. Yeah. And then I'm in San Francisco, the Punchline, uh, November 9th. And if you like hockey, listen to Puck Off. Puck Off. I love that name. I know the shows. Uh, I should end the show. When I've been sitting so long, I can feel a heartbeat in my asshole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I literally, right now, I can feel it. What do you got there, Finger? Um, I have a, a podcast I do with my friends called Center City Comedy. I love all you guys. Thank you. And, Funny uh, guys. Yeah, and it's on SoundCloud and iTunes and stuff. And we have some live shows. We have a monthly at uh, The Standing Room. There's one this Thursday, the 15th at 930. We do one at The Stand as well. On the 25th, that's a Sunday at 9.30. Yeah. And we're actually also going to be in Poughkeepsie in October. You're well. going up there at the Laugh It Up? Yeah, we're there I think as the a next group? week. Yeah. What, all you guys? <laughs> the finger. <laughs> what, I know, what is this? <laughs> I mean, I was doing it now. Yeah, sorry. Okay. What? Are you going up as a group? Yeah, we're going up as a group, yeah. Are you do sketches? No, stand-up. It's a stand-up show. Oh, uh, just all you guys. Yeah, that's good, man. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. going to love it, dude. Great mm -hmm. fucking room. Mm -hmm. Awesome. If you're a comic... Headlining, middling, you know, whatever. Get in touch with these guys because it's a cool room. And the best part, if you're from the city, go the fuck up there on the train, and you come right the fuck back on the train. Mm -hmm. Fine, Easy. I'll do it. Easy. <laughs> I just <laughs> saw they added the bar car back to the trains. What's that? Oh, that's always where you can sit. Where there's a bar on the train. Oh, uh, is there? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Bobby talks about the train like it's the 1800s. <laughs> it's an amazing thing. I, I, Whoa, if man attains a speed of 90 miles an hour, he will surely perish. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my favorite mode of transportation. Yeah. Me too. Fuck, I, fu I'd, I would take a train everywhere. You Me do too. love I a love train. I, it, dude, it's just so fucking cool. Flying blows. <laughs> it just, a train... Yeah. Leaves on the fuck time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get there, and I'm a stickler for time. Anybody who mm. knows me, I'm on time. Love right? trains and time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bobby Kelly. That's what he loves. <laughs> and uh, Trains, time, cigars. I, I, Mopads, too. Uh, uh, <laughs> <He's> Mussolini. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love a train. It, it, you just get up, you go get some food, you go take a shit, you sit back down, you take a nap. I mean, you can't do I any saw of that. that. On a thing for Amtrak. That's uh -huh. what they actually get up, listed take it a all. Shit, have <laughs> take a shit. Take a shit. You know amazing. what I do? I'll tell you Got what. A little I conductor there looking at a watch. <laughs> I'll tell you what I do miss is the smoking cart. It'd be great to light up a bat on a oh, fucking yeah. train. I told you the time, me Billy, me Billy Burr, and Jesus. Jesus. Who was it? <laughs> How old are you? This is a good gig. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh, oh Aldo Who Benny. Opened? Me, Billy Burr, Aldo Benny were taking the train home for uh, Thanksgiving, because and the, that's one of the busiest train days ever. So we there was standing room only on the train. All the reserves were taken. So we just plopped down in the food cart at a table, up all night, fucking yapping. <laughs> And I guess there was a guy in there trying to fucking slip, whatever. He turned us in to this blonde fucking Boston Dorchester fucking conductor, oh. Doug. <laughs> and we're like fucking telling stories about pussy and fuck. I fucked this and I came and fucking jizz <laughs> squirted in my eye. I threw up in her ass. You know, whatever. <laughs> well, I don't know what stories we were telling. But we were telling fucking guy. Sounds like a good she one. She comes in. <laughs> yeah. We're laughing, swearing, fuck, fuck. We're all from ball, fucking, fucking. I'm sure it was you know mostly me. Don't the fucking check was fucking, fucking, fucking. <laughs> right? <laughs> she comes in. Listen, you got to st uh, stop, you know, swearing. No more talking. Keep your voices down and getting kicked off the train. Ugh. Like, out of nowhere. You swear one more time, you're off. You hear me? We were like, what? Whoa. You didn't even give us. And she said, I don't give a shit. You're off the train. I mean, nuts. We were like, fuck. So she walks away. We're in shock. Out of the blue, she tells. We must have been pissing her off for hours. Uh -huh. Then she goes, Al goes, what the fuck? Oh. You're off the train! Kicks us off. <gasps> On Thanksgiving. No. I'm assuming it is. At Billy, at Billy Burr's stop. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> this motherfucker goes, all right, see you later, guys. <laughs> it's at his stop. <laughs> We're at fucking Canton. <laughs> 30 miles outside of Boston. She warned you. <laughs> well, even the cops came on. They were like, look, if we've... This broad's a little fucking loony. Uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? They brought us in. They were like, look, just wait for the next train. It's coming. Bill was like, I gotta go. John Candy was there waiting with his trunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was shower so, curtain rings. So <laughs> fuck. We, we were all going to sue. You know, that moment of like, yeah, you yeah. can't. I think she came down the aisle and kicked Billy's foot or something. Like, get your foot out of the aisle. And it's like, you can't touch me. That type of thing. We were like, or maybe it was me, I don't remember, but we were like, we're going to sue. I remember we wrote letters to Amtrak, oh. fucking zilch How's in return. Out? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Nothing. Get a response. But other than that, I like the train. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? Oh, my God. Uh, compoundmedia.com for a, a bunch of fun shows, including myself. Yeah. I'm also, uh, I'm standing in or sitting in for uh, Alex Jones, okay. uh, Thursday, 3 o'clock. What is that? Be I'm guest hosting on a show. Uh, I'm guest hosting his show really? on Infowars.com Info on wow. Thursday. Infowars, obviously a false flag operation. Go like the Gulf of Tonkin that started the Vietnam War. <laughs> I'm gonna I love that go guy. On there, but he's fucking great. He's out of his Who does he mind. remind me of? Who's his it. voice remind me of? Rush Limbaugh? Oh, uh, Sam Kinderson. Kinderson. Oh, Kinderson. That's what reminds me of. His yeah, voice. Uh, Sam had, had a little more of this going on. It was like, hey, hey, oh my hey dude, God. what's going oh. on, man? Hey, how you doing? Hey, buddy. Are you gonna, what are you gonna, the <laughs> fuck, dude? Are you going to plug emergency water every 30 seconds like he does? <laughs> Whatever he wants. It's almost show, unlistenable. I'll fucking, I'll fucking do it. Don't matter to me. Yeah. Emergency water just in case of uh, nuclear uh, holocaust. Dude, I forgot. I get it on my website. When, uh, right. when, uh, when the Mason uh, start online. the next big war against them. Uh, <laughs> I Someone forgot else. how good you are, man. Oh, thank you, oh, sir. Oh, my God. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, and, and then, uh, what the fuck? There was one more thing, uh, but I can't fucking remember. Oh, uh, Friday, uh, doing a gig. Uh, got the band back together for a, a gig. We do this every so often. Rot Gut, me, my brother, and a bunch of the other guys playing at, uh, what the hell's the name of that place? Uh, 89 North in uh, Patchog. Before oh, we went in my basement. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, well, you, I'm telling you. Have fun. Your brother's fucking great. Oh, he is. He's crazy. I, I guy, watch man. his YouTube videos, and yeah. he, he does uh, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, now he's doing a Hendrix thing. Which it's is fucking... Like... If you close your eyes, you're like, I'm listening to Hendrix. Yeah. And he plays... I mean, the guitar is fucking... He's fucking Really good. good. I, I don't remember any time where my brother didn't have a guitar. It was like, mm. growing up, yeah. the first memories I have of my brother, he always had a guitar in his hand, five great. years old and shit. Yeah. And, you know, he's still fucking playing That's like a great, man. Yep, cool. 
Um, all right. Thanks, uh, what do you got? You got it, brother. What do you got, Lauren? Uh, just at Lauren Kubera on social media. And uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter, YKWD Podcast, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and what our YouTube What size titties are they? I don't understand. Oh, they're getting so small. I can't deal with <laughs> them. Really? What? Why? I don't know. Let me deal with them. I'll figure it out. But they're not sagging, which my she mother tells me is there. a good thing. Yeah. So, all right. I'll take it, whatever. Do you think Mike's cute? Oh, come on, man. I don't play these games here. <laughs> oh, it gets awkward. Shit. Everyone gets weird. <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> no, yes. He's very cute. I like beard, so yes. Look at oh. that. Now I feel weird for saying that because oh, I was no. just making a goof, and now I feel like an asshole oh. okay. <laughs> talking about her titties. All right, I'll blow you in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 uh, my dream would come true if you turned out to be a whore from Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> just a dick suck. That's all you like, too. You don't even like penetration. Just I like sucking <laughs> as much dick as I that would be my what? fantasy. And oh, then one day Christ. I was like, hey. And you were like, I can't do it because you, you're the boss here. I'd be like, if you don't do it, you have to go. And you'd be like, <laughs> That's why I didn't get fired from yeah. my job. The worst thing I ever did was invite you over to my house to meet my wife. Because oh. <laughs> she loves me now. Law fucking loves Lauren. We're on, yeah. Oh, my, my kid loves her. Mm -hmm. where's, like, talking about you today. Yeah? No, oh, I love him. He's like, uh, where's my friend Lauren? Oh. I'm like, uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Deepu, what do you got, baby? Uh, and on Twitter and Instagram, at r 2 Deepu. And uh, you're a great leader, Bobby. And that's it. Leader, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank it's you. a callback from earlier, Bobby. The yeah. leader. <laughs> Remember? Deepu, you are a great leader yourself. Oh, thank you. Um, all right, you guys are the best crowd and the best listeners in the fucking world. Thank not you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got confused. I know. Yeah. All right, so uh, that's it. Thanks for tuning in uh, to another episode. You know what, dude? We'll see you later. <laughs> oh, stay tuned for the post show, everybody. Uh, oh, uh, shit. Uh, did I do it? No, I mean, just for the live audience. Oh, they're live. All right, yeah, so yeah. We, got a, uh, we got a post show coming up. With Lauren, who's staying? Anybody staying? Lauren, Deepu, uh, Christy, right. I think Tom's staying around. And I got a friend downstairs who I had in the tank. So can bring, I bring him, him the fuck up. Isn't this just yeah. called continuing the show then? <laughs> yeah. We yeah. now have a post show with everyone that was just on the show. You know We're what, at, farm team? You know what? No, you got, we got the wrap-up post show coming up, so check it out. All right, yeah. see you guys later.